Alright, let's play some more Civilization IV Realism Invictus. Uh, last time we went about until the end of the early game here. We managed to, con managed to finish conquering the Egyptians. We've gotten the capital, one more city. We've got a little bit more space freed up for future expansion. Uh, we are tech-wise just reaching into the Classical Age here. And today I want to get about until the end of the Classical Age. So, we've got a lot of space. We've got a lot of land here that we can still settle. The thing is, uh, the economy, especially in the Ancient and Classical Age, isn't really good enough to just spam cities everywhere and fill out this, this land. And most of this land is not particularly good either. For instance, all this tundra that we have up here is not good to settle anything in, in the classical age still. So, with the cities that we've conquered from the Egyptians, I think we're going to leave it at this for the moment. We've got, what, five cities with this? Our capital here, our first city. So we just found it last, and then the two Egyptian ones. Um, maybe we'll found one more. Perhaps on the iron and the cattle here, or somewhere in this area. But for now, I want to leave it at about uh, about this amount of cities, because otherwise, we are right now we are running a large deficit. Uh, it's still being funded by the cash that we got from our invasion. Otherwise, our tech rate is going to just go down too far. And we are at about uh, forty-five, fifty percent tech rate if we don't run a deficit. That is not uh, all that great. It can still be worse, but. Um, we should endeavor to get that a little higher. I want to go up to 75% before we seriously think about expanding again. Alright, what's the external situation look like? We have a lot of land up here. And the same appears to have been true for our neighbor here, this Hungarian AI. They, uh, well, we don't know what the land looks like here. We are going to be scouting this. Using a spy or two, maybe. And we're going to be build a sh building another ship so we can scout down the coast here, see if uh, we run into his cities, uh, see how, just how big his continent is. Right now he is the largest AI, he is ahead of us in score by quite a bit. Uh, that's not particularly worrisome, I think. Especially since our strength comparison here puts us, uh, puts us at um, being 1.19 uh, above him. So essentially 19% stronger than him. That's not a precise comparison, it's just a general one. And also one that the AI uses for strength comparisons when it determines who to attack. Um, he's actually pleased with us because we were at war with the Egyptians together. I could accept a state religion, I think it's in yeah, my capital and the Egyptian capital. We're still in paganism. Uh, the civic, because we have these relatively nice pagan temples and we have the statue of Zeus that we conquered from the Egyptians that gives us a, a pagan temple in every city. Um, but as it turns out, that does not preclude us from actually switching to his state religion. Uh, the thing is, if we are the only one this AI knows, then they have literally no other avenue of expansion and will declare war on us anyway, no matter how much they like us. Especially since we set the AI to um, play to win instead of just playing for uh, playing for the sake of playing. So what we're going to do is we're going to be reinforcing these border cities here for the most part. Maybe maybe that one because I can walk into, into here too. Reinforce these three border cities, grow them. I want to see them go to size fours and fives and sixes as we go for deeper into the classical age. Build all these nice classical age tech buildings. Uh, Reveal gemstones, get these markets, tolls and taxes up, get tailors. And then at the end of the classical here we're going to have a choice to make. Once we get water pumps, get irrigation, get the farms improved and are dipping into a peasant servitude at the early middle ages, we are going to be having to make it a choice to switch out of pastoral nomadism again which we are currently running to improve these pastures and grazing grounds we have, as the grazing grounds being a special Mongolian thing. We haven't really built terribly many of these. 
Uh, but that is also something that we should get on improving our terrain and improving our cities and getting our economy actually going. Alright, let us start then. First things first, we want to have a ship that can scout this uh, shoreline. So let us build an Asian galley or a great wing ship. Let's build this trireme. It's going to take quite a while. Uh, we're also at about turn 250 now, so this is about the time at which uh, barbarian ships, uh, pirate ships, start showing up. And we want to defend these two resources. We want at least one or two um, triremes to stand guard here at all times anyway, sooner rather than later. We have a second galley that is still out here exploring somewhere. Maybe it can't go back because we have close borders. Well, it's fine if we just run circles around this island. I, this is too far away to be useful in anything that uh, is going to happen to us anymore. So, if we ever want to save the maintenance cost, I guess we can. I guess we can delete it. But right now we're not really paying maintenance costs since we have shrunk our army a little bit again. Just have the experience core that we conquer the Egyptians with here. Alright, then we want more workers. We have one worker here and we have one worker that was going up to this hill and connect to this copper. That is all the workers we have. We've only conquered one from the uh, Egyptians. So what city has the most has the most production and food overflow. It's probably still our capital. How fast could you build a worker here? Eight turns if you switch to these. Okay, maybe you should finish that smokehouse, then the great wing ship, and we build the worker elsewhere. How long would you take for a worker? About ten turns too. Mm, yeah. Thing is, you could use the smokehouse so you don't get as much of these epidemics. Hmm. Now the other cities are going to be building uh, important stuff too. I, I think Alexandria had a decent amount of stuff in it. Doesn't strictly need these walls immediately. There's still seven turns more until it grows. Uh, that's enough. Yeah, uh, uh, the food is going to go into the worker anyway, so it won't grow with that. Let's build the worker here. In fact, let's build two workers here. Oh, yeah, and something else, we've connected the carpenters, so let's start with that. They're really cheap to build, they give plus one production just by themselves and gives, a, gives us a percentage bonus to all other production. And as we've noted before, there was a lot of production in the city, which was also added by our industrious trade. Okay, you are just going to need more happiness. You're also going to need more production. What do we do for happiness afterwards? Barracks and walls, I guess. Good, let's progress time. So, cross is done up here. Very good. Let's start connecting this copper. So that we have at least one metal. We've... Uh, we have this one iron here and we had one iron here. Both of them are the fourth ring of these cities, respectively. We could try and found something here, maybe closer to this non-tundra and ice terrain. But it would not be a great city. It really wouldn't be that great a city. Just to get this iron up. I think we should, um, as soon as we build our cities up a little bit, found something up here. Already marked two potential inland city spots here. This one would be uh, working this prime timber. Prime timber is not that great a resource to work because the uh, logging camp that connects the resource does not give you that much that big of a bonus. Like sawmills in the Middle Ages are better. And we had this option here. Let us mark the BFC of these two cities. See what we have available. Mm. Honestly, the city spot that the AI had found it in, that these ruins are in. It's probably not that bad now that we know that there's iron here, which we of course didn't know when we raised the city. This inland spot would let you uh, work the salt tile. It gives you a little bit of commerce. Getting a city out here, for instance, would... Uh, well, it wouldn't be coastal. It would not be able to work the iron. 
but it would enable you to work uh, the, ca the cattle here, which is important for food for the city, especially as long as we're still in pastoral nomadism. Mm. Yeah, I'm actually tending towards founding on that spot that we raised the city in right now. I think another alternative we have was well, here in the middle. Yeah, let's pick between these spots when the time comes. And advance some time. I expect it not to be much action in the near future and us to progress through these turns relatively quickly. Let's remove these markers again. Okay, you appear got an appearance cult. That means you're not going to be as unhappy and more anymore and can work a little bit good. Well, let's put the avoidance limits on. Yeah, it doesn't grow like this anymore. Cause man, oh, not enough happiness. If you speak the truth, good. Have a foot in the stirrup. All right, stirrup is research, which means we're going to be building a stable or two in the nearish future. This enables uh, the doctrine of attrition. We're probably not going to be able to make um, another great general anytime soon. We haven't really seen many barbarians show up in our hinterlands. I've forgotten what exactly this uh, tradition chain does. Let's go on to the second here. The first ring is 5% withdrawal, a bit of melee. And rate of 3 is actually blitz and even more withdrawal and melee and a few first strike chances. That would be pretty good. It applies to both charge and ranged mounted units, that's good. Of course, um, we're probably not going to get the general to actually trigger that. Alright. What else do we want to research? Let's go into the economic tree. Um, there's a coffee here we could reveal. We don't really need that. Probably not going to have coffee in our lands. We could build monasteries if we switch to Hinduism. No, I think let's go for the economic tax. Let's go for tolls and taxes. Then let's go for aesthetics to see if we have any gems around. Get that classical art up. We don't have any silver or gold for the precious uh, for the jeweler. Uh, but what, what uh, something we want is the tailor here for the plus one happiness from our furs and the silks. That's going to be important. That's going to require a little chain of other texts here too. After that, I think we can go into something like currency, compass, politics for the tax office. One thing we might consider at this point is switching into confederacy. Just to reduce our maintenance costs and keep our tech rate up. We don't really need all that much unit production anymore. I mean, I want to reinforce these cities a little a little further, build some bowmen, for instance. Uh, but right now we need autocracy for happiness. We get that imperial cult, we get that uh, plus one happiness from, bar from walls. The barracks really just um, offset the plus one unhappiness that comes with the civic itself. All right, where's this worker? That's free. Okay, here. You've built a grazing ground on this tobacco resource. Now this is a 412 production tile. And the AI, uh, if you set it to automatic, actually works. So that's very nice. Uh, it's a bit more production. Uh, it's a bit more uh, production and food than what the tile would get otherwise. So as long as we can't actually connect it to the tobacco resources, it's a good deal, I guess. And we should build a second great wing ship after this first one is done. Of course we need one to defend and one to scout. And what are you, go you going to do? You can build more grazing grounds. You can't do anything about that swamp tile yet. You could build another grazing ground on this tobacco. Hmm. Does the city even need another tile to work? It has these three furs. It has that. It has the food tiles here, I think. Uh, yeah, and we have the one improved uh, grasslands tile down there. I think the city does not really need more improvements quite as urgently as some others. So let's move you down. Uh, down this way. We can connect these second horses. Ah yes, talking about horses, we have these horses connected anyway. And I think we were getting horses from our Hungarian friend. 
He was giving us horses and a little bit of gold for furs. So, uh, you, what are the current deals we have? Here, the one with the horses. Cancel that. We don't need that anymore. And what else would you like to trade? We're going to give him the furs anyway, just, just as a gift, I guess. So he likes us a little bit more and is maybe a little bit less likely to attack us. Would you accept open borders? You would not accept open borders, okay. Then first, you will not give me any money for that, so I guess you can just accept it as a gift. There you go. You know, while we are gifting him stuff, let's just uh, bite the bullet and go into Anarchy and switch religion into Hinduism. At 18% influence is actually the largest religion in the world. We are now Hinduists. No, it actually gives us plus one happiness just from having the religion. Uh, I totally forgot about that. Hinduist temple doesn't give us anything. Because we are anti-clerical. Except we have cattle. And a Hindu temple gives us plus one happiness from cattle as well. You see here the net effect plus two happiness and then plus one unhappiness from our negative trade. So we would actually benefit from Hindu temples. Yeah, if we had thought a bit more about this before, we could have probably used this. That's great. Uh, let, let us queue up that Hindu temple. And build that uh, right after we finish these uh, walls, I guess. So that you get extra happiness. Maybe we have enough happiness here right now, so do it after the forge, I suppose. The same thing we might want in our capital sooner rather than later. Capital doesn't really have happiness problems, it mostly just needs more food to grow. Uh, we can set the AI to prioritize that. I guess the great wing ships are not that important, and we don't need to critically build anything here. Yeah, wonders would be nice, but I don't think we want to spare any effort for that. You have stuff queued to build, good. So, actually, what are you working? You're just working one of these terrible um, forest tiles. So maybe you should instead build a grazing ground. Hmm. Should we chop these two forests here so that attacking units cannot go into a forest? I think so. I think we should build a grazing ground on these two tiles that are next to the city. And eventually the forest and the tobacco here will also be chopped. And then there are no forests that any attacking units can hide in. We should also chop the forest on the ice here. I like it to, to chop forests that are next to um, cities just so that attacking units uh, can be attacked from out of the city. And they don't have that plus 50% defense bonus. Our capital with the hilt flowers is particularly vulnerable here, like that. But, um, well, it's also relatively safe. And, like, there's nobody going to walk around this city and, and attack our capital. Okay, you're done. The spices here still need calendar, just like our tobacco. Uh, the horses were connected. You can... Probably use another. No, the miners are going to finish soon enough. Then you can build like a grazing ground or something up here. So let us let us just go and make a grazing ground here on the, uh, on the grasslands tile. Cause the city too will grow even further. All right. Now we've run out of money. I like to keep a little bit of money in the reserve, so I'm going to go down to, oh my god, 20%? What happened to 45% earlier? Ah, uh, it's because I switched this city away from the fertiles, is it? Yeah, that costs a little bit of money. No, it's not uh, focusing on the same uh, fashion as before. Uh, yeah, you grow. And we're going to make do with terrible, terrible attack rate for now. We've got one more. Okay. We sent you to explore, you will go down here. Good. 
You've connected the copper, which means we can build a Bronx worker somewhere now. Bronx worker gives you this little bit of um, epidemics chances, so I like to not build it in the biggest cities. But given that this city has our best production prospects for now, I'm inclined to build it here. Although this city is a lot of shit cute already. Maybe build it after the Bronx Smith. Delay that Hindu temple for its one happiness after all a little bit further. Alright. You're going to be building a barracks relatively soonish and then you need to have a third tile you can work. Which means we should build um, grassland, 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 and tundra. I guess it doesn't matter which tile of these we're going to turn into our grazing ground then. Could also build cottages, you know. It's totally an option. Oh, we've had a spy stumbled upon, which means the Hungarian is spying on us. But that's because they don't like us, or because we are literally the only person they can possibly spy on, as we've seen. But they've also switched out of Hinduism now, so we don't get any uh, relations bonus here. Really? And animism, yeah. Animism doesn't have any, start, uh, doesn't have any state religion. Well, the AI sometimes does weird switches like that, but at some point, they're going to switch back. Alright, you bunch up with this other worker. Finish the grazing ground. Got some more money again. Stephen the Saint has founded a city. Oh my god, not there. That's like the one spot I wanted to found something, and not that not that exact spot. I wouldn't have found it that far in the water. <sighs> well, that means we're going to have to go to war with the Hungarians sooner rather than later anyway. I guess let us move this core of attack units up here. So we're ready to take that city on a moment's notice if they declare war, or we decide to declare war. Defensively, all these city raider short swordsmen are not going to be of much use anyway, so it doesn't matter if they're not there. Hmm. Yeah, the Hungarians are getting mighty close to us. When are you going to get your border pop in two turns? That is when we can connect to the silk. No, we cannot, because silks also require calendars. Okay, build another grazing ground here, I guess, then. Uh, build, it, build it down here. Let's have you on that farm. That's actually a Kemet farm, it's a special Egyptian farm that is, I don't know, has one more food or something. Right, I guess next time I can, uh, yeah, seven turns, I guess I can connect that salt. Could finish that grazing one later. Is the city working? Yeah, the city's working first down here now, and it's working the unimproved silk, interesting. I guess it doesn't need the food. Because we started to avoid growing into unhappiness. Um, you can also use a carpenter. You weren't connected before. Did not have the resource. Don't quite need the uh, epidemics reduction yet. Could use courthouses sooner rather than later. Don't we get the courthouses accelerated by being a legislator? Or there's still 35 turns in a city like this? I mean, um, we get what, 5 production? It's not a lot, admittedly. Carpenter and Warehouse is going to help with that. Maybe we should build a forge here sooner rather than later. Actually, what we should build here sooner rather than later is palisades or walls. Unfortunately, we don't have any limestone, do we? No, not up here. As far as we know, we, the Hungarian doesn't have that either. Remove that marker here. So yeah. Oh, he wants to open borders. Looks like a deal. That's gonna give us trade even if we don't get any immediate acceleration to attacks from open borders. 
But he has a few texts that we don't have, like Ritual, these early terrible religion unlocking texts, Drama and Mathematics. Right now we're attacking trolls and taxes. I think the AI likes to close the borders again, so I think we should take advantage of this tech transfer and research uh, these tags while we can. Do we have any partial progress here? Yeah, a little bit. It doesn't matter much. Yeah, let's go for, I guess, ritual because uh, the Gnosticism and the tail eventually needs it. And we've got extra trade routes, foreign trade routes in the city here. Oh. Plus 100% for sustained peace. You only get that for foreign trade routes. Makes this twice as valuable as any internal ones. So we actually get more money and can accelerate our tech rate a little bit. Let's go to 45%. You trade with a Hungarian city. You trade with a Hungarian city. You trade with a Hungarian city. Wonderful. I also want to get these harbors and river docks up soon so we can improve our domestic trade. You two workers built that salt pit. Got no first forge finished here. That gives the city 15 base production. If it works, oh no, these savannas at least. Yeah, I think we want the stable here sooner rather than later. So let's build that. Oh yeah, because you have the forge, you can also build the colossus. Or oh, city water tiles plus one. Plus one uh, gives you great merchant points. That would be nice. Should build the Bronx Smith first somewhere. You are going to go onto the clam tile and sentry here. So any barbarian ships are not going to be able to reach and pillage this fish tile. At least not until like the late middle ages. Because this is on an ocean tile and all these early game ships can only reach uh, coastal tiles. If, if something is in your territory, you can go there. So if it's out of your territory, you cannot go there, even with the early tiles. So outside of my own territory, this could not go into an ocean. Inside my territory, it can go to an ocean. That's one of the uh, differences that you can abuse with, uh, with enemy ships in your own territory, this difference in movement. You can keep uh, keep damage chips safe if you just move them out into the ocean on your own territory. And then uh, the AI will not be able to finish them off. Okay, we've fixed the happiness problem here for now. Uh, what should you build? You could use some epidemics reduction, so build that granary. After that, you don't really have any commerce. So maybe build a forge, accelerate whatever we're going to build afterwards. We could probably use something like walls, a courthouse. This is only 10 turns here now. Base production of 15. And we've got a great artist. Where exactly did we get it? Here in Alexandria? Yes, the Statue of Zeus is great, artist points. Ah, good. I was afraid that one of these cities had an artist uh, put on by the AI. I do not want any artists right now. Okay, let's check the options that we have. Well, first of all, we can settle this guy. Oh, look at this. He found a solar cult in his new city and the religion shock has killed the Hinduist religion in Alexandria. That's a realism invictus mechanic. Especially the later religions uh, destroy when they get founded, destroy other religions around it so that they have a better chance to spread. Uh, we hadn't actually built the Hindu temple or even started with it here, but I guess that's not an option now. It's actually great that he has this religion founded. What oh, yeah, he has even switched back into Hinduism now. Gives us plus four for we care for brothers and sisters in faith. Very nice. Uh, I like uh, 
Solar Cult, and it's a great religion to have later in the game. It gives you plus, uh, minus 10% city maintenance from its temples and communities. That's a great bonus. So I, I would like for that to spread my way sooner rather than later. So, let's check. What are the options? We can settle the artist for 2 gold and 8 culture, or we can build one of these ancient age uh, great artworks. The sun rock painting gives us experience to recon an archery that we build in a city. This one gives plus 1 culture to walls. Plus 10 defense in every city. Plus 1 culture to pagan, city, pagan temple in all cities. I guess the pagan temple bonus is the best we have right now because we have the statue of uh, Zeus and automatically a pagan temple in any city. That could help newly founded cities grow, not we're, not we're going to found any right uh, now. And since this is the border city that pushes against Port Said here, we should probably put the uh, culture wonder in there. We could also put it in here, but the city does not pressure us uh, much, uh, quite like it. And again, the Ion is in the fourth ring of Alexandria here, in the second ring of this city, so we're not going to be able to deprive them of that. Ah. Hey, lucky break. Sometimes regular ass mines have a chance of popping a resource. It's usually a really small chance, but sometimes it happens. And we've got iron. I guess then we don't need to found anything on that iron or on this iron as as, uh, as much anymore as we did before. And copper is still uh, copper is still nice in the classical age, but if, as, you, as soon as you go into the middle ages, you really want iron. Like the only unit you can build with copper in the middle ages is um, men at arms, the city raider unit, essentially improved axeman. Everything else, like swordsman, uh, cavalry, crossbows, all needs iron. Okay, let's build the mask of Agamemnon. Mm -hmm. And well, does our procurement of iron enable us to build anything else? Well, we could we can now build uh, spears and axes that we couldn't build before. It might be a good idea to build a spear too, just for city defense, especially in these flatland cities. So once we have um some spare build queue space to that. Solar cult is spread in Alexandria. Hey, look at that. Just a couple turns after the initial religion died out. Of course, we can't actually build a temple now that we don't have that as a state religion. Uh, the Hindu temple here is already in progress. Hmm. The option is to switch to solar cult. Uh, the Solar Cult Temple would not give us one happiness because it obviously doesn't have any bonus from happiness uh, from cap uh, from cattle towards happiness. Let's check Solar Cult. Uh, we are Asian enough that we want to would get Amaterasu temples, just like a flavor version of the Solar Cult. I mean, from these temples we would still get maintenance reductions even if the happiness gets offset by our anti-clerical. Um, Trade on our leader. Hmm. Uh, what is that? A great temple? That is a monastery that does not have anything specific. Great to train Kanushi. What is that? What is a Kanushi? Is it something we can build? Oh, that's just a solar priest version, I see. So, yeah, I think uh, given that the Hinduist temple gives us plus one. Happiness with our cattle. Let's stay with that. Okay, you finished that grazing ground here. Now, uh, if we actually wanted to grow in the city, we could. Which we should probably do sooner than later. Let's delay that. Stable a little bit more. Connect that horse. Actually, while you're going there, you should probably build a road. As should you. 
When people lack teaching, We've got ritual research accelerated by open borders. When they do not have we don't really want a case system. Case system relies heavily on the uh, state religion. Like the only thing you can get without a state religion is uh, buying stuff to finish it in a city, spending gold to accelerate uh, construction, which is really something you want to do in the in this game and especially the early game as I found. I like case system, especially since I don't build wonders terribly often and we haven't done that in this game either. And uh, so the drawback of getting less great people points is not as important. But alas, we do not have a widely spread state religion. Alright, what else do we want to research? Let's go with what else is uh, irrelevant. Oh, look at that, he has calendar. Let's go for mathematics and then calendar, I guess. Because that unlocks us, uh, what, two or maybe three resources that we can connect? Spices, tobacco and the silks. Let's hope he doesn't uh, close the open borders again anytime soon. Oh yeah, another thing, the open borders is going to enable our ships to scout his territory. Look at that, he has a 10 size capital. Damn. Our capital is not quite that big and nice. No wonder the AI has more points than we do. Oh. If you click on your own name, you can minify the scoreboard. It's great if you have a giant map with 20 sips on it. Hmm. Yeah, you guys just go explore. Actually, I think the... Uh, there's a bit of barbs here in the jungle. I think the uh, Great Ring ship, the Trireen, should come back and defend our resource. We can we'll just leave the galley to explore. I think there's one tile here in the water that we can still explore. But otherwise, I guess we have our little continent marked out. We have constructed a Hindu temple. What else do we want to build? We wanted to build some spearmen, we wanted to build some bowmen for defense. Now, spearmen, let's just build three of them, I guess. One for each of the flatland cities that we have down there. They're going to be relatively obsolete soon, they're only four strength. They don't have a city bonus, they have a bonus of those archers and charge mounted, obviously. Mm. I mean, it's units, we're going to need them. After that, I guess you can build a forge. And we always wanted to build a library in the capital. Caravan house would actually give us a bonus here, interesting. Oh, plus one to trapper lodges. Oh, that's of course something we want because we have two trapper lodges that I thought it would give us a bonus to the trade world yield. No, it doesn't. And then more trade routes. Yeah, we want that. We obviously want the granary. And we want a defensive building at some point, especially the walls that give us happiness. So I guess the city has um, enough stuff to do in the... Um, Near and not so near future. Good, we couldn't actually connect these spices or anything yet, but we can build a road on there already. Finished something. Uh, you're not working at all because your growth was strange. Need that walls. Well, I guess we can build local autonomy here for more happiness since we're probably not going to be building units as much here. The only production tile it has is this copper and uh, well I guess there are a few hills but they are tundra and the rest of, of the good land that this city has is flatlands. Hmm. I guess this tile is three production but it's only for now. Yeah and a little bit of a deficit again. Winning tech at 40% rate is not all that great, taking 16 turns, or more than 16 if this one wasn't already partially researched. On an accelerated tech and a classic is not good. So just like rule of thumb numbers I go for is 30 science is what you should enter the classical age with if you're 
if you're good in science. That's a good number to aim for. And like a hundred signs is something you should enter the uh, middle ages with that you should achieve at the end of the classical. Right now, with all the maintenance we're paying on our cities, we're not even reaching those 30 signs a turn that I want. When I enter the classical, we're already in it. Okay, you have a road on that deer, so what else can you possibly do? I guess you could kill that hill for a mine. I think it would give you plus one production. Is that important? Probably not. Mm. If we don't kill this forest, it can have a sawmill in the Middle Ages that would give us even more production. Is that relevant? Should we get a little bit more production now? I think we should get a little bit more production now in the city. Build a mine, get that plus one hammer. Give the city the half point of uh, epidemics that a mine brings. See, the city already has a mine here on the copper. And there is plus half a percent of epidemics from improvements. That's what this does. If we build the second mine, it'll have plus one percent epidemics from improvements. It also has plus three percent epidemics from terrain features. Where does that come from? Do we have a we have a swamp? We have a jungle? Oh yeah, we have a swamp up there. Yep, swamps gives a lot of that. More statues have been built. We weren't going to shoot for them anyway for lack of limestone. Although they are one of the wonders that I really like in the early game. Weaver's shop is finished and we've got a little more cash. Okay. Do you encounter a reef? We could probably go into the allied territory here and heal. Okay, these spearmen are finishing. Good. Distribute those on the lands. Uh, you don't need to focus on food anymore. You are not going to be able to grow that much further. You currently have assigned a priest. It just gives you one production, two gold. That's not all that great. I think we should focus on commerce. Actually, if you switch commerce on again, it just leaves it at uh, farming all these three, working all these three fertiles. It gives us a little bit more money and a little bit more tech rate. At the expense of like that one hammer that the uh, priest gave us, I guess. So, do we have a pasture or grazing yard? I guess since this tile isn't worked anyway, it doesn't matter. You should heal. Hmm, you have the road tile there. I would like to build a mine on that tundra. Alright, it can not do that. But we were going to build a grazing guard on this tile at some point, so let's finish that. There's partial progress in the uh, in the tiles. If you start building an improvement here, then go away and then come back, it'll be faster. It saves the progress, even if it doesn't show anywhere. Okay, our neighbor is the second wealthiest guy in the world and we with our 9 cash in the bank are currently the 8th most wealthiest guy in the world and since there are 8 civs and as a barbarian has settled, that means we are the least wealthy person on the planet. So, can we uh, get some of this gold out of him and trade? No, he, he does either not have any gold anymore this turn or he just doesn't want to trade any. Hmm. Second spears finished in the mad city. Some rock art paintings have been built. Somebody by another great artist. And you are going to have to cross that reef. Those reefs actually make for reasonably good defensive positions. So if you get into a naval fight with our Hungarian neighbor, this reef is something that we should have units behind. Just to mm, 
take advantage of any damage the units that cross to our territory. So I'm inclined to actually leave that guy on that tile. You can go to Fendt here. You can go sentry there. You have finished the grazing ground. Um, hmm. Should build a cottage. Let's just build a cottage just for the variety. Although this city has a lot of production and we probably want to have our heroic epic here. Oh, you can build a potter's workshop too. Let's build that. After that, the city is pretty much built. Most of the buildings that it can already. Very good. Uh, maybe you should build an archery range and some bowmen then. If in other sciences we should arrive at certainty without doubt and truth Good, we've gotten another tech and the AI, ha AI has not switched away uh, or closed these open borders. Uh, talking about open borders, uh, we should use the skirmisher to scout out the Hungarian lands. Uh, let's just set you on auto explore. You're gonna go down with that. Good. Let's just set him on auto explore and run into the Hungarian lands while we still have open borders. Then we don't actually need to build a spy. Okay, the next spearman is finished. You go in that city, and then that's the three spears. He did have horses, did he? Yeah, right, he had horses, he gifted us horses earlier. Okay, you have more horses here. Mm -hmm. We wanted to chop the forests around this city, right. Then we want to chop that forest with this guy. So what do you say about building a cottage? We're gonna have some cities that produce commerce in the future, right? Oh look, the Hungarian is at yellow face now. He is friendly, not just pleased to us at plus 10 relations. We still have three points from the military struggle. Plus one from years we have supplied us with resources, a bit from the open borders, up to four points from religion. Very nice. And we are slowly and steadily getting a little more wealth up. Another potter's workshop finishes, another plus one on the bank. Slowly clawing your way out of that economic hole that you start in. Got the borders here of the city expanding. It's the one that has the great uh, artist. Which means we're now going to compete for this uh, second tile of the Hungarian city. He doesn't have any important resources in these three tiles, but it would be nice if we can pressure him a little bit. Okay, we finish the cottage here. Hmm, what else do we want? Could go get rid of this savannah, it's a 10% 10 10 defensive bonus that somebody could stand in when attacking the city. It's not really significant. I mean, there's not much else to do with this, uh, with, uh, with this tile. So let's just go build a grazing ground here, I guess. At some point we might want a farm so we can spread irrigation down here. Oh, there's a f river here that we could spread irrigation through if we ever wanted to settle this land. Probably not going to happen anytime soon. Hmm. This city probably needs more happiness to go any further. Oh, the Helipolis hasn't been built yet. We could build that just so that it doesn't attack us, I guess. Takes 11 turns, which we might not want to spend. Uh, you should take care of that epidemic's chances soon. 
can probably build walls. Even if they take a while, the happiness is useful, and we're going to have, want to have walls in these border cities. Deal cancelled. The open borders. Alright. Care to negotiate? You would trade us spices. We do not want spices. We can connect these soon enough anyway. Okay. We've gotten most of calendar research, so I'm inclined to just stick with it and uh, finish that. But him closing the borders has reduced our income a little bit because the trade routes have been switched back to domestic ones. Okay, we are finishing calendar, and what did we have then? We were developing some other technology here. Yeah, tools, tax, we have some partial research, and after that we, con we will continue with that. But we made good use um, of the 40% tech transfer bonus while the open borders were up. What was that? This guy walked next to the Barb City and now he's being attacked. Come on, there's gonna be some archers that can attack this uh, skirmish. I'm absolutely not at. Oh, no. Uh, Savage Fjord Manager is, I believe, a spear is enough. Okay, we've. On, 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 except for these four tiles, we've pretty much uncovered most of his territory. Well, three tiles here next to this Barb City. Whatever. Yeah, this is pretty good land. There's rivers here, it's grassland, there's forests. Jungles are not that great at the start, but you can make do with it, especially if you switch to animism, which he has at some point. This is good land. If we can exit the Middle Ages when we get into intercontinental contact and trade and control all this, that'd be great. The entire continent is definitely too big to afford to maintain an empire on at the end of the Middle Ages. But just conquering like these five core cities of his, in addition to the five or six that we are going to have up here, that would make for a uh, perhaps fat and distributed but powerful empire at the end of the Middle Ages. Alright. We've got this hill here, it's now getting the industrious bonus, the mine actually only gives it plus two production, plus it has plus one from being a plane, plus one from being a hill, plus two from the mine, and then plus one from being an industrious tile, meaning uh, it has four hammers and gets one for free, so great. Um, yeah, I guess you can build cottages and grazing grounds around the city now. You finished your first bowman here, let's put you in the hill cities. You are oh, you're actually in a plane up there. But there's just a short sword in it, so let's move uh, the bowman there. Mm -hmm. You do not have an archer in here. You can build a cottage. We've grown one in size now. No need that one more tile to work. Doesn't actually need all that much more uh, food because the deer is just so productive, so cottage would actually be beneficial here. And what should you do? Uh, Cameron House doesn't give you any bonus to camps. Don't really need the coastal tiles improved. I guess you would also benefit from camp and uh, stable for food, if nothing else. Can grow another tile and not have to worry about that. The city really needs to grow is um, happiness. Maybe we should invest into culture. Let's get that monument while we still have cheap monuments and queue up the library. Then of course a potter's workshop uh, because there's no reason not to have a potter's workshop. Actually potter's workshop is something you should build in your largest cities for that epidemics bonus. They only last until glass works in the Middle Ages anyway, so hmm, maybe it doesn't matter. We should have a potter's workshop in here. Which I believe we already do, yes. Because it does ep that epidemics bonus. The city actually does not have any epidemics, very nice. And the capital naturally. But the capital still is a granary coming up. Uh, Limits building, one left. I think that excludes the one that we have queued up here. If we do not queue this one up, 
Does it say two left? It says two left, good. So you can have your pottery, and then we have one left for the capital. Okay, you're going to finish these walls, and we've already uh, queued up the stable for after that. Micromanage our science rate a little bit here. Let's sign open borders. Uh, just willing to talk about it again, or will you actually do it? No. He will not actually do it. Hinduism spread at what side? That's the Hungarian city down there. Finish my archers. Uh, Bowman specifically. We have these bad three strength archers. Oh, look at that. We had this event at the start that gave our archers uh, a combat one. Promotion and all the, even the bowmen that we built now still get that as soon as they're built. That's very nice. So, but we have these three strength archers. Upgrading these to bowmen is just too expensive. Um, the archers at three strength are really not that good anymore as, as we enter the late classical and C6 strength units running around. So, I'm inclined to just delete all of these. Especially for, as we're replacing them, so let's go and delete you as well. Oh, calendars researched, the map has been adjusted. Now we know that we are in the north, we knew that already because the north is ice. More importantly, these guys now have jobs. These workers can now improve spices, silks, tobacco. And that's the next Bowman. I think we should build one more. We had queued up three. That's three for these cities here. Actually, let's build five of these Bowman. Then we have one for each city. And after that, we can look go look at some wonders, I guess. Because the city is mostly built, everything else we could need. Could use a bit of happiness. We only get minus one happiness from the culture anymore. That's good. I think it was three at the start. Hmm. Well, the Colossus, 17 turns is not that long. The city would not benefit from it. The Parthenon is not really relevant. We don't have anything else that gives us birth rate, except for, like, the Statue of Zeus in this city. The Ishtar Gate is mostly a... Uh, espionage building. I mostly ignore espionage because I don't like it as a mechanic. And plus defense is also not important. And we don't have um, limestone or masonry materials to accelerate it. Uh, the Chemzong Ding Dong here. I like that one as a science building. This isn't really a science city. We've already figured that we're going to build, make this our heroic epic city because of that it has these three production tiles, if nothing else. We've put the Bronx worker here. So, we just build the stable, get that plus one food while we're still in paganism. Have a capital build the. Oh my god, it takes a lot longer here. Uh, even if we focus on production, 46 turns is not much faster than 51 turns. Yeah. Let's just queue it up just because we can. We should uh, not do the walls. I mean, the happiness would be nice from the walls, but they take a long time. Caron house we definitely want. In fact, we should have probably built the Caron house sooner. I did not see that uh, the direct commerce bonus also applies to the trappers lodges. I mostly just ignore the other uh, commerce bonuses this thing gives and focus exclusively on the trade route yield when ex when evaluating whether to build one of these or not. Because most of the time it's just not relevant. Okay, we deleted another archer here that needs to be replaced. You improve the spices. You defend that city. 
Our power comparison with the Hungarian is steadily going down. We're still stronger than him, it says. But um, we should take care that we stay uh, ahead of him there. Yeah. Alright, tolls and taxes. Now what we wanted is the tailor here for cheap and easy happiness. So urban planning, it's going to uh, obsolete our monuments. Wait, it obsoletes monuments? Wait, the building obsoletes monuments. You have to build a city square that replaces monuments. So um, if we were going to build a monument here or something, or here, we should build that now. We are a border city, so build the, the monument soon. Yeah, it never gets obsolete unless you replace it with, with a city square good. We had one here, did we? Yeah, it's not on the list. Constructor stable. We had one had enough of these uh, basic horse archers. We have two of them sitting around. I was going to build wait until cataphracts to build more horses. We're going to save this for capital. Don't really need that. Even if we have one tile in the water here, that would be okay. Maybe we should build fishing docks and lighthouses so we can work this uh, island tile. You actually have a fur resource as well, so let's build the caravan house. And after that, I think we want to get onto um, toll houses and tax offices. No, I don't really get anything from the archery range. <laughs> oh, look at that, a barb spawned. Pillager is what, an X-Men? City attack on first strength. Yeah, that's a barb X-Men. But that only has four strength instead of five. Alright. Uh, we have, we have a bowman there. We did not have a bowman in this city itself, but we're still going to build one more. So let's send you to our capital, which is only defended by a uh, early game archer. Oh wait, yeah, we needed to have a horse here. Take care of this guy. Hmm. We grow to size three. Yeah, the um, holy city is going to push the culture on this. You can go back and sentry again. Hmm, the last composite bowman will defend that city. Solar cult has spread in Sukbata. Okay, now we have an Alexandria and here. You do not have any religions. So did it spread here because it's the next biggest city or something? Oh well. You need to uh, raise the forest here and connect that tobacco. Then we have all the forests next to the city chopped. Uh, except for that savannah that nobody cares about. Great lighthouse has been built and the Cyrus Cylinder. Or well, lighthouses or colossus, more like something we will build in our capital since it can work these sea tiles. Uh, but not that important. The capital doesn't have that great production. 17 turns, it's still an option. We don't really have much else to build in the city, so... Yeah, I guess let's, let's shoot for it. Worst case, we get a bit of money. Even if we don't really need that uh, one now. Composite moment, yeah, you go and uh, stay there. The archer, let's delete it. We're greedy, we want that cash. How much are we paying on unit maintenance right now? Eight. Don't think we want to get much higher than that right now. Can you finish the cottage? City's working that. Probably use another one. 
Uh, the only thing that uh, would give it happiness at this point anymore is autonomy. Since we do have these two production tiles, it would be uh, valuable as a production city in the shortish term if we go to war. Let's build our spire too. Let's build another cottage, also far away from the city. What does he have in there? Two chariots, spearmen, and a priest. What actually gave us these plus five? Capital switch back into working all furs or something? Oh, I think I just finished the um, the caravan house earlier. We had financial. And would get plus one commas on all of these tiles right now. That would be nice. Alright, you had that connected. Now you can go and connect these silks. The Hungarian spy has been stumbled upon. Okay. Uh, that has obsoleted as the or discontinued as monuments. And we now have the option of building civil service. Given that right now we are only building uh, buildings, I'm inclined to go into civil service. We get plus 10% production in all cities, except for military units. And we can build local bureaucracies as soon as we uh, get into the Middle Ages and un unlock, what is the tech? City rights? I think it's city rights. So that would accelerate all our building construction, all our economic... Uh, advances. Civil religion is also great because with the state religion you construct buildings faster. But I want to stay in paganism for the Statue of Zeus and all the um, pagan temple bonuses we're getting. Which is mostly the experience for horses and plus one food from each stable. And we have um, solar cult in some cities so that's not really something you want. And it's high upkeep. I mean it would Put us to one upkeep right now with zero. We're legislators, so we get cheaper upkeep anyway, but um, at some point in the Middle Ages, upkeep starts being relevant. Right, you connect to six. You use some spread and eager, that's one of his cities. It's the one up here. Oh yeah, it's not actually the better city for being in this much desert. There's two floodplains and it has an oasis. Oasis are great tiles. There's a spice resource and some clams for extra food. Far away city became the home of Lu Ban. I guess we have a Chinese surf in this game. Nothing happening. I have constructed Potter's workshop. Somebody's built the Ishtar gate. And this thing is actually creeping closer and closer on the Colossus. Our neighbor has built the Parthenon here. Yeah, he can do that if he wants to, and I don't really care. Construct the river dock, get a little bit more money in our bank. And there we have a spy. Uh, so let's go and discover the little bit of land that was left there. Oh yeah, the poor galley is just stuck on these two tiles. Without open borders it can't go anywhere. If they grow a little bit further then it'll eventually be transported out probably here. <laughs> or there. Well, it's just the sake of um, the fate of early game explorer ships. Actually, it's going to be irrelevant as it is a galleon, not a trireme, if we go to war with the Hungarians. So let's just delete it and save ourselves the money. That actually put us two money up. It costs us two gold in maintenance. Toll house here. Civil engineering finishes next turn. That means uh, arenas. 
arenas are going to be great for us. Then we can row all our cities a little bit more. Uh, what is this city doing? It's giving us a spy. I mean, I'm not opposed to scientists, but a spy? I don't like spies. I was wondering why this tavern was going to give us two uh, espionage. Right, we considered building um, fishing logs and lighthouse here. So we can improve these, um, this island tile of nothing else. Don't really have much in the way of worthwhile units that we want to build. We have just these, just these normal classic units. Or 4 and 5 strength. Even skirmishers. So the Lepolis we could build if we want to spend uh, a little bit of effort. No, we can't actually move it down into his territory here. We have to go this way, I guess. Yeah, that's an option. And take that city with it. If we build it, which we probably should. Let's build it here. The city has enough production. Common mistake that people make Building the naval tax office, but that still requires cool politics, currency, the ingenuity of complete and most importantly, the arena. Which we should build pretty much everywhere right away. Arena, then get me some more money. You are fine on epidemics. Oh, you can still build barracks for more happiness too. I guess barracks have more of a benefit than arenas. Uh, you before the arena. An adventure courthouse. And then we want some culture. And eventually we're going to want that too. Mm -hmm. What does the plus one commerce caravan gives us? We don't have any salt pits, at least none worked. We do have a salt pit in there, so let's get it at some point. Just building a long ass build queue for this city. Okay, and we are going to finish the Colossus. But the puny is more culture than we do. Uh, don't give a shit about culture. Yeah, and there's the Colossus right in the middle of that water tile. Let's watch the vanilla uh, videos. Was it Helios, the, the sun god? Because of the, this little crown. City water tiles plus one commerce. We're not working any water tiles because there's nothing underwater. No islands, no resources. And I guess it gives us culture and plus two merchant points. Well, it's, it's a wonder we had the opportunity to build it. Might as well take it, I guess. Growth was strange. Uh, let's fix that first of all. After that, you can build... He has a tavern, uh, toll houses. And then you can build these just in case you want to work the water, which is now improved. I think the Colossus obsoletes relatively early. Uh, let's check. Was it world buildings? Great wonders. Colossus. The Colossus. The Colossus. Obsolete with mercantilism. Okay, mercantilism is not that early, but it's um, relatively early in a renaissance. I guess it, if it's something that you can get um, the, the, like the middle classic, that does not mean it obsolete early. Okay, now we have another spy. Um, since he was sending stuff towards us, let us send the spy into a city and... Send him to this city and uh, make a counter espionage mission. Hi. Hmm. Okay, Silg is, con uh, Silg is not connected. We're gonna have to do that. But Silk has been improved. Now we can build a road here and there and then just connect the other one. Our strength rating is still going down. He's just developing a stirrup now. I don't like that our strength rating is going down. I hope he's not trying to attack me. Even if he is... Well, plus eight. We care for our brothers and sisters of the faith. 
He likes us a lot, but he might still attack us because we are his only avenue of expansion, unless he's not ignoring, uh, unless he's ignoring this city. In this bananas, has sugar, has dice, has pigs. It's not a bad city if you ignore the part where everything is general. We also had a Bob city up here. Uh, if it was on this tile, we would want to found it on this tile, so we want to raise it. Now that it has existed for some time, we might want to see about keeping it, but I think the position here is just better because we can work that amber and have more land tiles. Even though it's just all tundra. But I think expanding is still not something we want to do if we're struggling to go over 55% uh, at attack rate. I said I wanted to go up to 75% before we seriously start expanding again. This spot is unfortunately being um, denied. At least for the moment. This is also a city we're going to raise and replant here or there again. I guess it's a holy city. If he has the shrine there, I don't think you can rebuild it. Uh, if we kill the city in the, in the Middle Ages, then the five money from the shrine are not going to be that important anymore. So, do we go and... Oh, we can't actually drain the swamp just yet. I need water pump for that still. So, let's go and remove these forests, I guess. Build a grazing ground. Lipolis can go to our offensive army. We've deleted the better ramps that we had a long time ago to save money. Hmm. Fortunately, we had a, a pandemic here or an epidemic, so we lost some population, I guess. The growth of strain is. Still a thing. Did we even lose uh, population? Or was this just four population before? You had a city with the spy in it. I really don't want a spy. I, um, it's hard to tell the AI not to make spies. Uh, sometimes it can work if you tell it to focus on something else. Like, you know, go work this, go work this tobacco tile. Focus on commerce. Or focus on science, which also makes it focus on commerce. It doesn't need the extra food, but... Hmm. Actually, you should build an arena first. To get that happiness, so you can actually grow. But don't, don't make a spy, please. We really don't need the birth rate. Well, this one has finished all its queue and is now working on this um, Korean science building that I can never ever pronounce correctly. Uh, at 42 turns I somewhat doubt we're going to get it. But might as well try, right? You go and improve uh, the stuff there. And with that we have a full map of the Hungarian lands. And 12 size capital. You can gather intel. I'm going to see if it's not cheaper to uh, do the counterintelligence missions on his capital because it's size 12. If, it, if the city is bigger, it's cheaper, I believe, because it's more important for the enemy, I guess. But it's also you get also cost reduction for intelligence missions if something is closer to you. Uh, you build that plantation, you gather intel. Mongolian spy has been stumbled upon in port side. Okay, I guess the one on his capital is going to do the mission now. Dynasticism. Now we can put tailors and we can switch into monarchy. I think to switch into monarchy is something we want to do. We don't really benefit. Ah, right, right, right. We have the benefit of imperial cult together with paganism. I was going to say, autocracy and monarchy are the same in that they give you the maintenance reduction 
from number of cities and the happiness from walls. There's the happiness from barracks, but that just offsets the unhappiness from the from the civic itself. We don't really need the military production, but the other benefit we get from this is the imperial cult together with paganism. If we switch into monarchy, we would have to replace our uh, imperial cult happiness with local autonomy. And that gives us even less military production. Which I guess we don't need right now, but we are going to stay in... Let's just pick something. Silas. We're just going to stay in uh, monarchy for quite a while. So I don't want local autonomy in cities where I don't want it long term. Yeah. Alright. They're both low upkeep, uh, so I guess there's nothing different there. So there's nothing that monarchy actually gives us that autocracy doesn't give us right now. We don't have new print shops or anything yet. We don't need to have like Magna Carta or feudal land to new unlocked. Oh, didn't we want to switch into civil service at some point though? We did. Additional custom. We don't need the culture. We don't need the health. We don't need that one XP. So I guess let us forego monarchy as it doesn't give us any bonus over autocracy. And switch into civil service, which we maybe should have done before. We're also going to approach the um, pastoral nomadism and maybe serfdom choice soon. Yeah, and we're going to stay with paganism for now. Pacifism just gives you birth rate, really. We, we could use it because we're not at war and we're not building units, really. Though we really should. We should build some units. I want to keep that strength rating up. <laughs> uh, so this is what our empire looks like for the foreseeable future. Okay. Let's proceed. Polytheism. Oh yeah, I just clicked at that so we would research something and it was like a two-turn check. We already had some progress in it because we got some RP from some research points from the uh, Egyptian cities that we conquered once upon a time. So I think we want aesthetics to reveal gems and allow us to build jewelers, not if we have gold or silver. Uh, but if we could get gems, it would be nice. Then we can get currency for that market and compass. And there's the option of building politics too. I think we should go for politics because we already have all the prerequisites. And then shoot for aesthetics and then compass. If we want to build more units, maybe we should get armor crafting first. We will need politics before that. Okay. It fits nicely into our research plans. Uh, can build swordsmen now that we have iron. They make for decent defensive units as well with their melee bonus. And uh, most importantly, heavy horses, which we as the Mongols want. Oh, the scroll. Okay, you have uh, worked up your bonus. See, treasury, 23, that's an option. Terrible option. What city world and happiness? Steel technology? Do we actually have the option of stealing a tech? Huh. Oh, hey, we could just go and steal politics. Now, we already have invested some into politics. But we could also steal drama. Or literature. How much intel do we have actually have invested him in? 900 RP or e uh, EP espionage points. Some of the city names don't display correctly in my, uh, in my system. And how to fix it, I'm just too lazy to do it. Uh, since we have the option to steal attack, let's just go ham. 
Here, let's go take drama. Great, now we can build Zoroastrian mos monos uh, not monasteries, but missionaries and theaters. I guess theaters uh, can be good for the cities that are pushing against culture. That city doesn't really give us anything uh, immediately important. But it's 600 up here. We don't have to invest whenever we get something that builds upon drama. And a uh, uh, spy is still here. I can go walk back into his capital and uh, do the counter espionage mission afterwards. Alright. Uh, we should go check these places to build tailors. Because tailors are cheap to build and give us two happiness. Build those everywhere. We should build them here too. Hmm. Since we're building this terrible little wonder at our terrible tech uh, build rate here, let's just keep with that and build a tailor afterwards. Uh, but you should build a tailor. Probably sooner rather than later. You don't actually need the happiness right now, so I guess you can finish the river dock or something. Delay the arena a little bit. If you control and shift click onto the uh, items in the build queue, you can delay or prioritize them by one step. You can definitely need the happiness, so you go tail that up. Since we are in uh, civil service now, we have the option of building a Colosseum, which isn't that great a wonder, unless you have the happiness from the slave market. Uh, it's often available quite late because the AI does not switch into civil service all that often. I guess it works as an extra uh, expensive arena with uh, just plus one happiness from itself. And it gives you great engineer points and great engineers are nice. So that's an option, uh, but it would really be better if we had marble or masonry materials. Because at 42 turns it's not something I would like to build willingly. Unless we really don't have anything else to build. Right, we've got a water pop over here, there's more salt we can connect. A spy has been stumbled upon. Wonder whose spy that is. Doesn't say the name every time, but um, there's nobody else whose spy it can be, right? You have the tailor, which means you have a lot of happiness now. Um, you go grow then. I haven't prioritized you to anything, so... Go build some culture to keep your tiles against that Hungarian city. Wait, we have one food and two commas from these tiles? Is the Colossus bonus, does it apply to all cities? All city water tiles plus one commas. I thought that just applied to the city it was built in, like the Moai statues. Oh, that's actually going to be great for a capital, when and if it actually works, it's water tiles. Which, of course, it never does for some reason. Well, it doesn't need that much happiness, I guess. Uh, yeah, you had the option to put Potter's Workshop here. You should put that. You should put that. You know, right now and for the last 100 turns, I've just been queuing up buildings, 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 buildings. Uh, sometimes you get into a, like a melancholy of building buildings all the time, building up your empire. And it's easy to get surprised when you're just clicking turn, 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 turn. Uh, by an army that stands in front of your door. Made bad experiences that way a few times. So, um, I think going for armor crafting after politics was definitely the right choice there. So we don't get surprised by anything nasty. And the thing is, none of the building, none of the uh, units we have available right now are something I want to build. It's all this classical army stuff that is 4 strength, maybe 5 strength here. And as we're looking at the late classical, we want to have stronger units. Which is what armor crafting unlocks us. 
So you have a monument. You have a monument, so you don't need the culture bonus on the city square. There's nothing else for the city to build then. This would be a prime candidate to start uh, building some units then. I really need a public well. I like to ignore public wells until um, aqueducts. I will only build them if they're critically necessary for the epidemics reduction. I'm willing to chance it on a 1%. I'm not going to build a chariot if you're going to unlock cataphracts soon. I guess skirmishes are nice. Even if their strength is a little um, low. I've gotten into the grain. Uh, subtract 26 from my treasury. I think the city can't grow anyway, right? Yeah. Oh, actually it has the tailor available still to build, but... Uh, it's it's fine if it prioritizes food a little bit. Oh no, if we deprioritize commerce, it'll put a spy back in. <laughs> Let's not have that happen. Focus on this cottage too. Hmm. Alright, now we have a second silk, con silk connected. We also now late enough in the game that uh, if we gift this guy the, uh, what was it, the furs, he's going to have happiness from there, so let's cancel that. We appreciate all the years you've supplied us, supplied us with resources, still a thing. Doesn't say anything about beneficial trade deals. Plus nine from faith now. This guy is religious as fuck. Uh, but the plus two from we have appreciate the years you have supplied uh, supplied us with resources they're going to stay there for a while I believe. So none of my cities you would not be interested in. There's nothing um, unimportant we can gift him, right? I guess we can gift him deers. It gives him a bit of uh, epidemics, which is good. Most of these animal resources give epidemics. And nobody really cares about the reduction from a smokehouse, the health reduction. So you, go take my deer. Be sick, please. Alright. Uh, maybe we should... If we don't have anything else we need to build in these cities. Invest into um, roads towards the enemy so that we can relocate units in case of war. Maybe we should build a road in a couple of these tiles so something from the capital can come down. We go build a road here and after that walk onto that tile and chop the forest there for the fence. Never believe anything in politics. Until okay, tax office I think now. Doctrine Imperial Glory. I think that's mostly irrelevant for anti-barbarians and we don't have raging barbarians. Like the two barbs that have spawned in the last 100 turns here have really been disappointing. We're not going to do anything with Senate and Republic. We're too big for that. Mm, it's just that we're going to queue up tax offices. Oh, we're still in currency for tax offices. But as soon as we have tax uh, currency, we are going to queue up tax offices everywhere to improve our economy a little bit further. We're up to 60% and a neutral point where we don't lose money. That's okay. Okay, step a skirmisher. I guess you can build a tavern for that one espionage point and an arena. Uh, Chiron House wouldn't get you give you any benefits. Um, that's the option of building more units, but it's more of a thing to do when armor crafting is done. You have archery ranges, barracks, stables, so any units you build here are going to be great. We can also just build research if we want to. So as soon as we have currency, we can build money, which is better than building research. Oh, like I said, we have a solar cult spread. Uh, if he was solar cult, at this point I would switch into solar cult. Because we only have our capital that has Hinduism now. And we have three cities that have solar cult. But given that he likes us really much, I'm inclined to stay with it. Like plus nine points from faith. 
that's not to be underestimated. Let's put you uh, towards the offensive army. We don't really need the skirmisher there for barb defense, for lack of barbs that walk into our territories. Uh, we could go and take our offensive army and smash that barb city up there just for funsies. Another spy has been stumbled upon. Build a lighthouse here, you can build a theater to push that culture. Now oh, these are two food, three commerce tiles in the water here, that's not too bad. Hmm. Oh yeah, since you actually have two wonders, uh, building a city square here might be worth it. After that, uh, you are also pretty much out of a job. We have a uh, great artist, a polymath, Zanabaza, a Mongolian artist. Oh, great. Good for you. Gate of the Sun is the only of the um, old wonders that are remaining. What unlocks the next batch of great artist works? Is it something like theology, religious law? Is it aesthetics? Is it classical art can construct great works of art classical, yeah. Okay, let's save you until we have aesthetics. You were going to chop this forest, this ice tile, but you can abs do absolutely nothing with. But, uh, well, chop forests on it. Okay, you were going to um, go improve that salt over the road there. You are back in this capital, so work up your espionage bonus. Christianity has been founded somewhere, and the Chemsong Ding Dong has been built in a far land 16 turns from when we are going to finish it. Uh, that means next turn this is going to cancel and we're going to be rich and going to be here um, running 100% science for a while. You have enough other stuff to build, so... Go nuts. Oh my god, 610 gold. <laughs> I guess that gave us a lot of science, if nothing else. Let's just hope that the Hungarian spies don't steal it all from us. Get for sun has been built. That was the last ancient age uh, great artist work there. Fairway Home has become the home of Vercingetorix, which was like the, uh, a Gaulish hero, right? From Asterix. Is that Celtic Empire or is that, is, is that, is that Fr the French Empire that would have that? I think it's the Celts, right? Which is the, the Irish mostly. Going by the Empire names in this game. Okay, shitty square. Yeah, nothing else to build. We need an armor crafting so we can start churning out some units. Well, hey, look at that. We can build a Temple of Artemis. Plus two commas to camp and trapper lodges in all cities, plus ten with deer. We would actually benefit majorly from that. Do you have deer here? We have four trapper lodges, we have deer there. We have another trapper lodge there. Man, should have gotten that tag before, I guess. What actually unlocked it? I thought it was something that unlocked earlier. Uh, the only thing we got right now was politics. Parthenon, the Temple of Artemis, polytheism. Yeah, that's an early uh, ancient age tag doesn't require paganism or anything, so I don't know why any AI, AI has not already taken it. If we can get that, it'd be great. See, another thing, I've discounted dualism, polytheism, monotheism here, these three early religion texts as irrelevant. So, thinking that this wonder can just be ignored. Because A, we don't have limestone or marble. And B, uh, well, I'm not going to be b building very many wonders, but uh, who'd have known this wonder would actually have 
bonuses that are very applicant to our situation. Okay. I think something else we should get is a meditation so we can build monasteries sometime soon. Just for a 10% um, science bonus. But I think uh, aesthetics currency comp is going to be better. Only takes five turns, quote unquote, only. Alright. There's our armor crafting. Putting on his armor for war should not boast like a man who's taking it off. Okay. Finish chopping that. Just go and build a um grazing ground next to the city, I guess. City is actually putting on a craftsman for plus two production. That means the city is relatively desperate about what to do, I guess. Go make money instead. I guess with the silk, the furs, and the salt, this would make for a decent uh, cottage city. If you uh, re employed that spy, no, you haven't good. It's actually working one of the water tiles here, one of the unimproved water tiles. For the commas. Alright. You go and connect those tobaccos. You have finished doing this. Is there any more tech we can steal? Uh, yes, but only the cheap ones that we uh, can research cheaply anyway as soon as we have open borders with literally anyone. Stephen Saint has completed Kamakya Temple. Uh, we are going to have to look up what that is. It might be the shrine for a solar cult. Or at least the Amaterasu version of it. You do counter espionage so we don't get our money stolen from us. Uh, uh, show me wonders. Five cities and wonders. Kamakya Temple, Great Prophet, World Wonder. Must want happiness and health in all cities on this continent. Hindu temple monastery. So it's there a special wonder there. Uh, let's go check it out a little further. Requires meditation, Hindu temple, and Hindu monastery. And well, Hinduism. I thought these um, religious wonders also required like church architecture or some medieval tech. Oh, it's a, it's a great prophet work. Mm. I see. What I'm thinking of is uh, this here. This one requires theology from the late classical and a temple. It requires six temples to exist. It's the one that makes blessed units. Mm -hmm. But it isn't notably the um, shrine for the solar cult. Actually, let's look up what that name is. Solar cult temple replaces solar cult temple, replaces solar cult great temple, replaces solar cult monastery, solar cult community, world wonder. That's the one that was built by the great prophet, and this is the one that is built by uh, by having a theology and enough temples. Uh, the shrines aren't shown here, are they? Hmm. Okay, here it says Shrine, the Pantheon, Pyramid of the Sun, Amarna Temple, or Atsuta Shrine. Okay, we have to look out for all of these four names. These are all the, the flavor names that the shrine can have. I think he's built the Partheon, not the Pantheon. Uh, the Parthenon, yes. That's just the, like, marble building that you can have. And here's the Great Bath. He doesn't have anything else. Alright. 
Actually, well, those are the five nicest cities. Buda and uh, Estagom here. None of ours. But all large, ten-sized cities. Those aren't quite at. Well, it's typical for the AI to have larger cities than you do. Alright. You finished building something, so you go and make us some cataphracts. Here, go make three cataphracts. Spy is done. Um, we have done the counter espionage mission, so maybe just let you sit in one of our cities. Do um, counter espionage things. If you put a spy, like station it in your city, uh, it'll be much more difficult for the AIs to do any nasty things there, like steal all our money. Problem is, you typically need a spy in every city because you don't know where they are. So spy spam was definitely something I used to do, but there was a recent change that made each spy 50% more expensive than the last, which uh, doesn't really let you spam spies into all of your cities anymore, but it also makes the AI use much less spies because they're so much more expensive, so you don't need it as much anymore either. So I actually like that change because I'm not terribly much a fan of the espionage mechanics in the first place. Alright, you're done. Uh, go plant some cottages. You will just idle in that city. Forest has been grown near our capital. What's the finance situation look like? So most city maintenance, we're not playing ter uh, paying terror, we're not sure unit cost. As soon as we build a few more swordsmen and cataphracts, it's going to go up. Okay. Yeah, one of you should go with the army. You can build a salt pit. You just idle there. And the short swords are now officially obsolete. Uh, we could upgrade them to swordsmen. We almost have enough money for that. Uh, but I think not. In fact, since they are obsolete now, even if experience units are valuable, Let's go, uh, go on that expedition towards the barbarian land here. Oh, we can't go there with the Heliopolis in tow. We're not going to chop our way there, so... I guess we're gonna have to build a uh, another battering ram or something. You just go towards the capital. You can idle in Alexandria for the meantime. Um, if we were going, ever going to war, I was going to develop siegecraft here. Catapults, but... It's not worth it for just walking into a barbarian city. So let's take this guy who only has a tailor to build really. Hey look, we have literature now. We can build heroic epics and national epics. We do that. Uh, let's go build a battering ram here. So if you get the Temple of Artemis, or even if you don't, you can build the national epic for the birthright since you're the place that has all the wonders. And maybe you should be building the Heroic Epic 2. Uh, right now it says net effect plus 17 hammers. 17 hammers while at this building, I wonder. This one was another option. It will give us 11 hammers, but right now it's building a unit. These cities were more like um, something we earmarked for commerce. This one with the first salt, silks. This one with the tobacco in the first at least. And water tiles. Our capital isn't that great for for build uh, for uh, building units, so um, I think Alexander is just going to get both. The heroic and the national epic. And maybe they'll even build the Colosseum at some point, who knows. Hmm. It's better to spread the heroic and the national epic out, so we can build wonders in one city and units all the time in the other. Temple of Artemis has been built in a far away land. Oh no, too bad. Uh, you will go build another cottage. 
Yep, this one has switched to uh, doing cottage stuff. Yeah, and now we have a lot more money even. Can run that 100% science for a while. Okay, aesthetics has been researched. Uh, do we have any gems? So a little bit. We have discovered gems near Alexandria. 517 cash from that failed wonder. So, great gems. That's one more happiness. You go uh, switch that to a plantation. They would actually... Wait. Wait a moment. <laughs> Building a plantation here turns us into a 203 tile, whereas a grazing ground on the tobacco makes it a 412 tile. Yeah, I think we, we're just going to leave the grazing ground there. <laughs> Sometimes it's better to build something else on a tile with a resource. Especially if you don't need the, to have the resource uh, connected to you. Which we don't since we have three of these. One more down there. Alright. Now we've improved our cities far enough that we don't really need much else in the way of improvements immediately. So, um, I guess you can start chopping these flatlands for us and plant some cottages on there. That's something our capital will want to do. We don't have a money capital this, this uh, game. There's like three, ca three kinds of capitals you can have. It's money capitals that do uh, money and research. It's production capitals that do units, which are relatively rare, I think. And then there's wonder capitals uh, where you can have your national epic and just build wonders all the time. This one is going to be a money capital. Right, you um, should go join that army that we're going to move up there. There they are. Okay, our combat uh, strength comparison here is still uh, just a little bit weaker than him. At least it hasn't fallen further, but now we're building units. Okay, build a cottage there. Uh, we can build stuff on these tundra tiles, even on the city ruins. I like to leave the city ruins around if, if possible. There's like a random event that can give you research points if you have city ruins around. But what do we do? I don't want to build a mine. We really don't need the extra uh, epidemics. We don't need the production. Turn, that, turn this into what a 3 production tile. That wouldn't even trigger our uh, industrious advantage. So build another cottage, I guess. You guys meet up. Let's see if this is even enough for this barb city. Just these three short swords. Uh, the cataphract, which are probably going to ram in to do collateral damage. Um, yeah, let's just put one of you here and one of you there. Play zone defense, like what the horse arches. Wait, does the city need more food? Not really, huh? Otherwise, the option is building another grazing ground here. I mean, it is working that if it wants it more food, it can't really have it. Hmm. Grazing grounds otherwise get improved with biology, barbed wire, food preservation, and wool mills. That's all, uh, all early industrial age or late Renaissance stuff. So these grazing grounds are as good as they're going to get for a long time. I mean, it's still a, a improvement you can spam absolutely everywhere. Plus two food, one production. Be greedy and build another cottage. Most advanced civilizations in the world. Our neighbor is the most advanced civilization in the world, and we are the third most advanced. 
I like that. That means there isn't going to be terribly advanced uh, other civs on other continents that are going to invade us with line infantry and uh, like intercontinental transport ships anytime soon, while we are still in the late middle ages or something silly. That also means it's probably going to be less challenged once we have, once we have finished uh, defeating this Hungarian guy and uh, discover who else is in the world. Uh, he's still ahead of us in uh, points, given his larger empire, that's not surprising. And since he is ahead of us in tech, I would like to make open borders. Oh my god, he would accept it if we give him a laundry list of happiness resources. Pearls and silks and tobacco. Silks first would give him two happiness immediately for a tailor. And tobacco is one from a trading post. Trading posts only unlock in the Middle Ages, I think. Was it the late classical still? Uh, that's a steep price. Do we strengthen our our chief competitor here in order to get a few points more tech? Yes, I think we will. Maybe we could have cancelled the gift of the deer and tried to include that in the in the deal. Okay, how much more trade do we how much more cash do we actually get from trade there? One thing we're gonna do is queue up these tax offices everywhere. This place does not make a lot of cash right now. Oh, it doesn't make a lot of cash right now because we are running a deficit. So let's not look at how much these tax offices will actually benefit us. Tax officers, tax officers. Uh, next city is free canals about classical art, I guess. Not particularly worried about culture, so it's not a priority. And let's check what techs he actually has on us. He's the um, most advanced guy, and he only has, what, these few cheap techs? Meditation, water pump, and irrigation. Uh, should we stay with Compass? We're actually getting Compass at a good rate now. We have improved our tech rate significantly. Even if we go down on uh, onto where it's supposed to be. We have increased it to almost 100. That is um, where I have previously eyeballed uh, a good entrance to the Middle Ages too. It's still 73 turns until the medieval tech cost reduction actually comes into play. That should be enough to finish up all the classical techs. And then we can start working on these 50% more expensive medieval techs. Alright, since we've uh, bought that expensive open borders, let's go ham on the um, open borders techs. Just go queue them all up. Actually, we should get these two with less priority than these others anyway. Then finish what we're working on. Um, I like to finish these. Um, I mean, you can ignore monotheism, dualism for a long time. I think monotheism is used for like religious law or something at some point in the Middle Ages. But you can ignore these for a long time if you want to. The thing is, if you conquer a city, you then get what points in dualism or polytheism, which is going to be absolutely worthless. So I like to finish these just so you, that you get something useful in research when you conquer somebody. Actually, we might get it if we might get some points in dualism if we conquer the barbarian city here. Of course, the barbs also have a tech tree. Oh god, look at that. One, two, three, four barbarian archers and a fjordman, which is a spear, I believe. And a ship and a worker. Now killing four archers with three short swords is a tall order. City has two border pops, uh, so it has 45%. Well, it doesn't have two border pops, but it has 45% defense nonetheless, so that's going to take a, a while for this one battering ram to, uh, to chew down as well. We're going to be paying a little bit of unit supply with just six units out, it's really not much. I guess we can afford to siege this place for a long time. Uh, you idle. Solar cult has spread in Zoon mod. That is like the last of our cities, except for our capital. 
If he were to switch the solar card, I'd immediately do it. Even if we don't really have any benefits because we're anti clerical. Not from the temples, anyway. Uh, so we can build monasteries everywhere, but given that I really want to switch into a solar cult, I'm not inclined to even build a monastery here if we're going to make it obsolete at some point. Whenever the war breaks out, I guess. Meditation brings wisdom. Lack of meditation leaves ignorance. No, and we don't no want well, monasticism. We're we still reaping benefits from our pagan temples. You bombard. We should just bake a unit uh, to throw against that city. Here, go build a swords, uh, a real swordsman. What a city to do. Hinduism has spread in uh, bugs, if that's how you pronounce this. So I guess the AI is spreading a state religion there. Right, build a uh, cottage on the tundra tile. You can build cottages and tundra tiles if they are next to a river. You cannot do that if they're not next to a river. You keep chewing on that wall, or that palisade rather. You can idle. The great wall has been built in a faraway land. Do not care. Mm. We can build our cottage here, I guess. Water, Water pump. All. That means we can um, drain these swamps now. We should do that just because they are absolutely terrible by giving nearby cities a lot of epidemics. I'm just hitting B every time to bombard the city. Okay, you go up there. If I build anything new. No, it's not just four arches. Storia Plantarum. Is it supposed to be a Planetarum? Um, we've got an aesthetic since, right? Uh, I'll request classical art first before I can build these. Okay. You are still building the Epic of King Gazar and then Attacks Office. Uh, how about you, when you're done, build Classical Art? This thing now. Enables all religion civics. We could switch into Free Religion with that, or uh, the Stronger Gambit is probably switching into um, the um, Personal Cult that gives you plus happiness from a lot of things. Here, yeah, Cult of Personality. It only unlocks really late in the game and it gives you plus two happiness from a lot of things. I guess the only thing that you unlock early of that is the city square though. But if you have happiness problems, that can be an option. Given that you have the uh, one that enables you to take it anyway. Uh, the AI likes to do that as well. It likes to switch into Cult of Personality if it has uh, the one that enables all religion civics. Good, what do you do? Um, hmm. That was the option of building a few more roads along the, uh, the line here towards the enemy. I think we have enough roads to... Enable us to move troops towards the city. Uh, let's go connect that. That gems resource. What a precious mine. You finished reducing the defenses of that city. Good. Now we wait for that swordsman. Oh, another great artist. And there you go. Uh, you as great artists need to wait until we have finished developing classical art. Yeah, let's just put you on sleep so you don't annoy me for the next six turns. 
It is thus with farming and irrigation systems. The next accelerated tech. Makes food crops plantations a little better. Well, we don't have any of these. Notably, it makes farms better with irrigation. And that is the real killer. This is the stage of the game where farms get actually good. Uh, which means farms are a good opportunity uh, to switch out of pastoral nomadism, or good alternative to pastoral nomadism for food production. The thing is, do our cities really rely on pastoral nomadism for food production? Not really. The city doesn't get anything from food from pastoral nomadism for food production. It works this one grazing ground that gives you two food and one production. Uh, the farm here would be better if we switched into uh, if we switched out of pastoral nomadism anyway. So that's pretty much zero sum. Our capital has one grazing ground here and one grazing ground there. I mean, this thing uh, being better is just, eh. it's not that big an improvement since there's a, since we can use the uh, the commercial plantation or the regular plantation was it. Get a little more commerce out of this tile instead of the extra food and the one hammer. We don't really need the food here, and we definitely have the option of building farms to replace the food. So this one does not really benefit from pastoral nomadism as well. Expecting the most benefit we get out of pastoral nomadism is still from these um, pastures. You only have this one pasture here from the cow that gives us a little bit of extra food and uh, what does it, an extra hammer from pastoral nomadism. No, it just just gives food from pastures, not even uh, hammers from pastures. So you don't really benefit from that either. And any food that we lose, we can definitely make up with, with just putting a farm here that is irrigated or something. I hope it's not working these tiles for food. No, it definitely isn't. But uh, I switched away from the scientist. Interesting. Goes back into working a fucking forest if we switch away from emphasized commerce though. Well, I guess the water tile is just as good as the uh, uh, tobacco tile. I guess tobacco is not, not terribly good a resource to work. Does it get better if we research a tech or something? I hope so. Alright, what's the next city? You have these uh, great grazing grounds on the horses here. A lot of production there. Hmm. But it's still just one food and one production from pastoral nomadism. So I think we um, we have not that much attachment to pastoral nomadism. So the option is we either wait until the early middle ages until we uh, unlock merchant families and craft guilds. Probably craft guilds and since the only person we can trade with is the Hungarian guy. And then switch into that, or we switch back into substance economy and able to hunt this cabin in our capital again, which is still a decent little bonus. Uh huh. We have one upkeep with this on low upkeep, and we have one upkeep on this on no upkeep, so that doesn't actually give us any bonus switching from a low upkeep to a no upkeep civic there. Craft grids would be medium, it would cost us two upkeep already. And then we would switch from tribalism, which does absolutely nothing, and just serve them. Which would even superpower our farms. I mean, we, we would switch with that uh, as soon as we get uh, into the early Middle Ages. Which would really superpower our farms. And enable us to do nice things like build these manors, for instance. And it would give us great uh, general points just from the surf revolts. Which we can keep down because we have lots of good horses. So yeah, I think um, I think it's not nomadism in our future anymore. We are going to be settled, Mongols. So, do we want to switch into substance economy now? Just wait until later for serfdom. 
each uh, civic switches a turn anyway, at least at this point of the game still, so we might as well, honestly. Switch out of pastoral nomadism. Oh, white what? We built all these wonders with plus 50% production costs for, for world wonders. I totally forgot about this being a thing in pastoral nomadism because I don't usually build all that many wonders. So let's switch out of this now. Could have probably gotten those two wonders that were sniped from us if we weren't in pastoral nomadism. And start laying down a few farms. This one has already improved to nine food. That's very good. We have this one farm here on the uh, on the uh, flat plains that has improved to eight food. And this one still has um, war hammers, so the industrial bonus from our leader puts it to five. That's good. So we didn't lose an extra point there. So any food that we lost from that grazing round. Is uh, been made has been made up by that one Kemet farm. It's not a regular farm; it's a Kemet farm, which is the Egyptian farm, which is, I believe, a little bit better for floodplains or something. All right, uh, you're going to need to take an extra turn to bombard that down again. Oh no! Look at that. The barbarians have built two pillages in the meantime. Those are city attack units, but we don't want to have these. Um, on that tile where we need to dig them out. He's cancelled the open borders. Fair enough. Wait, he's just cancelled the open borders? Yeah, and all the shit we give him is still uh, ongoing. Let, let's not have that be a thing. I don't give a shit about the deer since that doesn't benefit him. In fact, it probably hurts him. Oh, and he says we would have nothing to gain, so we'd probably not accept it if we gifted it to him now. Has he gotten deer somewhere? Yeah, he's gotten that deer. So let's keep the gifting up, just because it might do something. Okay, we need to reduce our research investment again. What we really need to do is uh, move away from that city and draw out these pillagers. In the beginning, there were two primal yeah, we got a worthless tech. Twins, oh yeah, they don't get accelerated anymore and we still have them. Uh, so we'll just go straight into compass. And in word and in deed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then you should probably do commerce code. Just to get that plus one to plantation and we have a few plantations. Then maybe something like sanitation. Get that epidemics reduction. And after that we're looking at guilds and peasant servitude already. Still, um, catapults, fortifications to do. Uh, theology with obsolete pagan temples and Statue of Zeus at the same time, so I don't think that's something we want to do. It enables these temple wonders that we don't benefit from. So I think this is a, uh, a technology that we want to avoid as far as possible. I think we need theology for, what was it, um, critical thought or something? I think you need it for something later. But we can avoid it for most of the Middle Ages, I'm pretty sure. Okay, um, let's move out of this territory and see if this pillagers walk out. So we don't have to dig out as many units there. A spy operating in Alexandria has been caught due to elevated Mongolian counter-espionage efforts. Maybe we should place a spy in here as well. Yeah, you build a cottage. Um, the grazing ground here has been um, nerfed since we switched out of pastoral nomadism. So now if we build a plantation, we just lose one food and gain one commerce. And as soon as we get the commerce code technology, we gain an extra commerce, so let's definitely replace that now. You will want to connect this tile here, and you can build a road until there, because it's a road that leads towards the enemy, and we want to have good logistics. Alright, let's go and... Tweet these into a border, see if these pillagers walk out of the AI just likes to stack offensive units and it's pops it here. 
Even the barbs can build a few things in the city, like the uh, the palisades. You can build things like granaries and um, smokehouses. Probably barracks. So it'll be sad if we have to raise a bunch of buildings in that city. Oh, look at that. 5% of our income is now big enough to make a difference of 5 points in our, in our economy here. You know, actual resulting uh, cash flow. That means we are progressing. We have, um, I think, achieved what I've set out to do when I started recording this. To improve our economy. We have a capital of size 9 now. We have size 6, 7 cities. We've unfortunately not been able to settle something here, but... Uh, we've definitely fixed the attack rate. We have uh, grown up our cities. We have invested a little bit in defense. We are, well, not quite as much stronger as our Hungarian friend as we were at the start of the game, uh, at the start of this recording. Uh, combat strength comparison-wise, but still exist. Okay, how about you go join them while you're there already? Wait a few turns, see if they walk out some units. And if not, then it's just, um, then we just have to go build a few more units to take that city. It's not all that bad. Give these units something to do. Uh, get rid of these old short swords. Get some experience, some great general points. Right, that's classical art done. You should probably build a Hunter's Cavern because it's very cheap and has a decent bonus. Uh, the same is probably true for all the other cities as well. Yeah, you would do that. Um, then you can build all jewelers, which are cheap and give easy happiness. Alright, we've got the fourth border pop in our capital and compass. That gives all our coastal cities an extra trade route once we build that um, build that building, which is not terribly expensive, I guess. But this is also a production city. 160 hammers. Okay, how about you build an um, extra road on here, these hills? Right, there's no road on this iron and we still have it. We do, right? Yeah, they are iron. I guess that means because it's um, next to the river, it automatically gets added to the transport network. I think the game does something like that. You should remove that swamp, but it's grayed out if I hover over this tile. Well, keeping right click clicked. Uh, do we not need another tech to actually remove uh, swamps? Not sanitation. Can remove jungle with water pump. Can build farms without irrigation. So it's a great path. Spread irrigation. Ah, oh, right. That was moved to mill machinery here. Uh, draining swamps now. I am medieval tech. Too bad. Yeah, let's let's ignore monotheism and elephant taming for lack of elephants on this continent. Um, these are the tags we're looking at now. Commerce coach, sanitation, siege craft, and then we have all the uh, the early uh, classical age stuff done. <laughs> yeah, these grazing grounds just just plus one food. That's pretty um. Pretty sad. You need to build farms. Not that we can build farms. How about you go and take that tile? This uh, plane here. Build a farm. Spread irrigation up here to this city so that I can have a farm or two to work. Spy has been caught due to elevated Mongolian counter espionage efforts. Why well, we are the only target for spies that the AI can possibly choose. Get sign open borders again. 
well, he'll talk about it again. He will also make demands again. First, tobacco is not as expensive as last time. Uh, let us... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, he'll give us stuff for this too. Is it worth it? Seven gold or something. Bananas and pearls. Hmm. Uh, let us cancel the deer gift. Wait, we d shouldn't cancel this gear gift. Oh, I cancelled it anyway. I said yes, cancel, not cancel the cancellation. Confusing you either. Either way, it doesn't matter. He didn't want the, the deer anymore. That's why I didn't want to cancel it after all. But we can give him salt or something. And get something else. How about instead of bananas and money, you give me pearls? What, what would that make? Uh, no. You'd want tobacco for that. I don't want to give him a happiness resource, but he shouldn't have trading posts yet. So I'm more inclined to give him tobacco than something like furs or silk. If we we add tobacco and say what would make this deal work, he would give us two gold in addition to that. Yes, seven gold. Epidemics chance reduction. You get that if you have bananas. So bananas would actually be pretty nice. We don't actually have markets anywhere yet because I don't think we have any of the resources needed for them. So maybe pearls would be nice just so we can build markets. Even if we don't immediately get a benefit from them. I think bananas for the epidemics reduction would be better. He would, for that, uh, for those two resources, give me the bananas and all his gold's overflow. Um, hmm. No, he doesn't accept it for just one of them. Uh, for salt, he would give me three. And the banana. And for tobacco, he would give me just the banana. So let's give him salt and take those three gold. Oh, look at that. The enemy has been spotted. Three pillagers. He's really until he had three of them. Oh my god. Why do you have to get so many? Uh, let's get one of the horses here. In fact, let's get both of the horses here. Just because we finally have something to kill. Okay, the heavy rider is going to have to walk through the... Uh, through the road network. The uh, Keshik Archer does not care about hills and forests. I would like for you to move out of the forest. Hmm. Well, this is a place that should get farms. These two tiles should be farms at some point, so let's start on that. Because we have this little tiny um, river here. Alright. Yes, they moved on to a flatland style. Uh, you are out of job. You don't have anything to do. You have a harbor to build. After that, I guess you can build an aqueduct so you get less epidemics. Oh, well, look at that. We can actually build markets because we have spices. That's more happiness. That means more growth. Less epidemics, more happiness equals more growth. Uh, we're actually going to run into health problems in the city at some point if we grow even more. So um, we can easily fix that just by adding fishing locks somewhere. You also have problems, especially with epidemics if you've got markets, so uh, let's probably build them in this order. Uh, you still have a lot of stuff to build. You do not, so you can just queue the harbor and... Um, the market. You also have epidemics chance, so let's queue the harbor before the market. Uh, the aqueduct before the market. Oh wait, I was talking about health problems here. If we build an aqueduct, we will obviously not have health problems. Yeah, health is very rarely a problem in realism and victors. The mechanic has been largely superseded by the epidemics. I had one game once where I, where I actually had health problems because I had absolutely zero health resources and 
no forests or anything in my um, starting terrain. But it was it was an exception, not the rule. Right, uh, we have grazing grounds on a lot of these tiles, which are now relatively worthless. Uh, how about you workers go and help these guys build farms that go up there to irrigate? Cataphract attacks first, because does collateral damage. He was killed one, and now these two guys are 3.8 out of 4 strength. Then the horse archer can attack. And now let's give something to do for the uh, short, uh, for the regular sword there, so they can get a bit of XP. Good. Now these guys should heal, and then they can see about conquering that city again. Um, you've attacked this turn already, you're orange, so you will not heal if I idle you this turn, so you might as well go there and then idle. Let us give you flanking for extra withdrawal chance. Uh, what is your total withdrawal chance? 40% now. Oh yeah, born on the saddle gives you some too. And the unit itself does not have any base withdrawal chance, unfortunately. Okay, heal you. Uh, if we move all of you there, you will not reduce the heal rate of the horse archer. Good. You were going to build a farm. And heal the other units. Idle. So this swordsman... Uh, three turns to heal. Yeah, I guess that's fine. For you two. After three turns, I can go up again and hope that the AI has not built much else there. I should probably still build an extra Axeman or something. I don't want to build an Axeman because they're classical units, but a, a, a sword or something. Farms, you want farms. This tile isn't actually in radius of any city to be uh, worked, so it doesn't really matter what you build there. Well, the best case I've ever heard for uh, free trade. Grocers are enabled and plutocracy. Uh, is plutocracy an option that we want? 10% gold, 10% production and capital. 20% 20, 20 more gold and capital. I mean, right now we get 10% hammers in every city for everything but military units, and since they're all building, co constructing just buildings mostly, that's, uh, I think, better. We don't actually have local bureaucracy or the Colosseum anywhere, so that is the only consideration there. Both of them are medium upkeep. Switching back into a traditional custom for low upkeep would uh, reduce our civic maintenance by one. Doesn't really matter. Right, even with just internal trade routes, we have. 80% tech right now. This is definitely the point where we would look into founding a city here or elsewhere. <laughs> sea Amber is a happiness resource. I think we are going to build a settler and uh, settle on this hill as soon as we raise this barb city. There was still um, no real other good spot here. There's these horses, they were better while we still had pastoral nomadism online, but uh, what, what, what would a city here look like? Like this? That's a lot of tundra, even a desert tile, some unimproved coast tiles and mountains in the range. Inland, I would allow you to work this tundra iron, but it's not a great city spot. It's something where you put cities later when you can make... Um, you can have industrial buildings inside and farms that are strong. And we're going to get to the f strong farms part soon. Alright, now that we have decent tech again, and now that we are going to wall, uh, run into the technology cost wall of the Middle Ages, we should look into expansion also as a military option. This city is nice. This is actually a desert tile with fresh water, but not a floodplains tile where the city's on. So this is a decent spot to found, I guess. Has two 
Uh, actually, that uh, just has one island in there. It's one flat plane, has that incense. Has the cows, has copper. And some hills. I can have um, windmills soon enough. And some regular flat tiles here. So this is a decent city. I would like this. Um, put that on my shopping list. I've commented before that this one is actually not that bad. This is also something I would take in a war. Um, I mean, long term, we've said that the core of the Hungarian Empire down here is pretty juicy, that we want that. But that city must have had a uh, epidemic when we last looked at it. If it's not the size for. Um, Oh, he's, we're actually losing some combat strength in comparison. That's not good. So either way, any war we make against the Hungarians is going to have two stages. First one is going to hear, hear port side, uh, that city, and maybe this one. And eventually in the late Middle Ages or early Renaissance, we're going to take the core. Um... The question is, do we start that early war against the Hungarians sooner rather than later? Or do we uh, just found another city or two here? We have the option of founding something on the coast here. Up here we have these fish. Fish is decent food, but the, the land up here is absolutely terrible. I think we've noted before that we can't get both fish and... No. Just these tundra forests uh, and that otherwise unimproved coast is not good. Uh, we could build something like this. It doesn't have any food. As soon as we get farms up uh, into, well, at least, can we even put farms on forests? Uh, oh, not on forests, on tundra tiles if we get irrigation there. That could make a city here viable. That's more a thing for, I, I would look at in the early songs to found though, not at this point yet. Then we have this cattle here. Let's mark these two BFCs again. We could build something, we found a city here. Hmm. I think conservation was more founding it on this desert tile, which is otherwise useless, and make use of these plains in between these cities. That being here. And then opting for a spot that is here. Or there. For another city. So founding something in between these cities is an option, even though not a good one. I think we should found the city up here, and then um, slowly prepare for war with the Hungarians as we have mostly finished building up our six or five core cities here. It's just five. I wonder if it drives any people nuts that we have our empire in like this little banana shape. It's just a string of cities that curves around a little bit. Instead of having it as, as a continuous a, a contiguous blob. Um Distance from Palos course here is 5.71. That's actually relatively decent. The next nearest city to the capital has about half that. It's, it's an extra about three money per turn or something. Two from there, like one from here. Maybe even two from here than you would than you would have otherwise if you had found it in a circle around the city. But the city spots uh, make more than up for uh, losing that three or four gold per turn. All right, you're all healed. Uh, you go meet up. Be a big fat army. Behold the beauty of my art, I guess. Uh, there were two or three Mongolian artists and then they ran out of um, special names. Oh, talking about great artists. I've set these guys to idle and then totally forgot about them again. Okay, we can choose between Oh yeah, I like this one. That may gives the Bronx Smith three more hammers. Uh, then there's one to an arena. That's pretty relevant. One cult to a courthouse. That's also pretty relevant. 
One culture to a theater. I mean, it makes theaters better, and th uh, it's already a theater's job to produce culture, so that's slightly less irrelevant than these other culture improving um, great works. New charge mounted units and new melee units receive plus one experience point for these K frescoes. That's probably a good option. Then we still have the option of just settling this guy and getting two gold instead of, uh, uh, on top of a bunch of culture. Two gold at this stage of the game is not quite irrelevant. Would have been better like um, 100 or 200 turns ago when we were still early in the classical age or just jumping out of the, uh, of the ancient age. And then we have the option of starting a golden age. There's also the option of discovering a tech with these, but I don't like to do that particularly much. Especially if we don't have good techs available for this guy. We'd have to research monotheism and then something else, and then it would probably give me theology and obsolete the pagan temples. So I don't think um, researching a tech with these is what we want. Golden Age is not that great. They can save you a few turns of anarchy. That's something nice that you can do with them, but... The extra hammers and commas, and I guess even great people points, are not that great because they only last like 10 or 12 turns. And uh, if the if the game lasts for 2,000 turns in total, that is not that much of a bonus as as it would be uh, compared to vanilla, for instance, where the game only lasts like, what 200 turns. So they're not nearly as important as they would be in vanilla. I think we're going to build this in, hero in our heroic epic city here. Oh, we've got to go three now. Uh, these cave frescoes to give uh, units that we build here more XP. Then we are going to build uh, the Vayang, which is like a Southeast Asian uh, kind of shadow play. Uh, should we build it up here? Well, let's build it up here too. I guess where we build it doesn't matter all that much. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna have to pick something to do with a third artist. Maybe we should save that one for Golden Age or. Um, in case we actually get a tech that we want to research with them. So, um, you do more farm irrigation spreading. We should get this solo worker apartment too. I like to pair them up, just so that uh, they don't take forever to build individual things. Stephen of Saint has adopted Theocracy. Hmm, let him do that. Okay, let's have you walk onto the deer actually, so that Barb City can't work the deer and build more units. We'll work more forests or more water tiles in order to make up for the work for the shortfall and uh, not surprise us with, with more stuff in the city. Oh yeah, yeah we're going to build the Bronx Smith too. Uh, theater. And you can do Bronx Smith stuff. Since the Bronx Smith is in the city, I'm inclined to just leave it here. Even if we're really stacking the culture in the city. Maybe we should build it up there because that's where our copper resource is. I mean, we're gonna have more than one copper resource at some point. We've uh, gotten a border pop that puts the copper resource in our capital up in our uh, range. So we should connect that at some point. So Bronx Smith is not exactly limited to one city too, so we're gonna have two. Alright. We have to re uh, re bombard that wall all the way down. Attacking just like this, probably not good enough. Yeah, you start chewing on that. Julam. Monastery um, would actually be quite a bit of research. Three points. 
I mean, I said I wanted to switch into a solar cult. Probably when we're going to declare war on the Hungarians, if they don't do it first. But given that this only takes five turns to build, three points of science per turn is not, um, it's not bad. Uh, let's go with the aqueduct, uh, not the aqueduct, but the harbor first and... No, let's go with the monastery first. Then let's build the harbor and the aqueduct because the harbor with the trade route is not going to give me as much uh, immediate commerce and immediate uh, science for that. I think after that you should build a market. Could gain one cash, we build a courthouse. Since we're legislator, they don't take as long to build, so might as well do that in our capital even. Goes to give us a commerce and the food. I mean, it's buildings, build all that stuff. It just gives uh, give us plus three culture now instead of plus two, like usual. Nice to see, but, but we don't really need it in our capital. Eventually, you can build a tavern, I guess. And eventually, you can build walls, I guess. Never really needed the walls for happiness here just yet. It's nice that we don't have happiness problems in this game. We've got a border pop up here in Alexandria. Did we get anything? Yeah, I've got the salt. I think this was the fourth border pop, so if the, this city would not have existed, we would have gotten this iron at least now. I used to cannot uh, drain that swamp because that was in the Middle Ages, so. Mm, you could build another farm there, not that you really need it. It's just more or less building a farm for later. As it's still under irrigated right now, it's pretty worthless, just as good as the uh, grazing ground that was on it before. Uh, let's build another cottage here. Let's maybe build some roads. I mean, you don't really need roads on these tiles all that much, but who knows, maybe that'll be nice at some point. Put the roads toward that, towards that mine, get us a second copper resource at some point, and uh, enable us to build a second bronze smith that is going to, going to give us four hammers. Alright, now we have a farm that reaches into this, uh, into this city. Um, yeah, let's replace one more of these grazing grounds. I guess we can replace both of these grazing grounds with more farms. And the city's gonna have three farms on range, and as soon as this one finishes, they're gonna be irrigated too. Sanitation should really help with our epidemics. Not that we have particularly high chances. Wait, there's none at all in Alexandria even. Or oh, because it just finished an aqueduct. Minus 3.5%, yeah, that's good. Yeah, we are set to have some good cities in the Middle Ages. Yeah, the Hungarian guy is spreading Hinduism. Surprised he did not have these in his core already, since it's a state religion, has been forever. Oh, he's got actually a terrorism spread here. Oh, and there. Interesting. And there too. Oh, and he has a terrorist um, holy city. So he actually has three religions. I guess it makes sense for the tech leader in a game to have um, more religions. Okay. He's ending this deal, my friend. Will you, will you do that if you just give me less money? No. No. He will just not give me bananas for salt anymore. What do you want for the banana now? I give you tobacco. I will also give you tobacco and salt, but will you give me the money in addition to that? Do you accept this deal? No. Okay. It's just wine and citrus fruit that you would uh, trade. Citrus fruit actually gives you minus one epidemics, not just half point. Mm. Give me some money in addition. No, he wants salt and tobacco for that. He would give me both if I also give him furs. Yeah, 
Can we give him corn? We don't need it. It doesn't give us anything. It gives us one health with a granary, but we don't need health. No. Uh, what will he give me for corn? He will actually give me six gold for corn. So he does value it at something, but just not enough to buy us citrus fruits and bananas with it. Um, I don't really want to give him these happiness resources if, if we can avoid it. Mm, can we give him some money in exchange? We can't do that. Uh, we do it for three? Oh. Alright. We'll make this deal work. Six money. Won't make this deal work. Nothing. I guess let us do this. And let us do the corn versus money trade in isolation. I guess I could have seen about trading these resources for open borders again. Um, not sure how much tech he actually has on us. We can see techs. Cannot trade uh, sanitation, currency, and aesthetics. That's text that I have that I can't trade him because direct tech trade is disabled, of course. He has monotheism mono, so we're actually ahead of him in tech. It's good to know. Then I don't really want um, to have open borders with him either. Alright, next turn that'll be down. Just build anything new yet. Okay, the fences are down. Four archers and a savage fieldman. A spear. Okay, we should start by ramming in one of these cataphracts because they do collateral damage. So, do we give it um, a strength promotion or do we give it a withdrawal promotion? It has a 34% chance to um, attack this spear guy. Maybe if we attack with um, something else first? No, then the archers will defend. Not the spear guy. If we could attack the spear guy first and th then attack the archer, that would be nice. No. The archers will def defend against anything but the cataphracts. Give this cataphract two upgrades. Um, wait, this cataphract has thirty-four percent chance to win against the fieldman. It's also thirty-four. Okay, so it's the same. I thought I had more. Uh, let's give the one that has five XP and can have two upgrades. Two upgrades. Let's give him just land tactics and anti melee. Uh, this only puts a chance of forty percent. I thought I would just um, put it a little higher. Too bad. Well, at least the uh, spearman is down to 2.6 and two of the archers are scratched. Question is do we ram in another of these? We can do that. Let's give him the 15% um, withdrawal chance. He lives. Very good. Reusable units, always nice. Kill an archer and now we can just walk in with the infantry. Uh, yeah, you can take the last upgrade. I don't actually give a shit about you dying. Because you're obsolete anyway. And we can clean up. Oh, citizens form the unit of Pillager. Is that actually his, um... What, the barbarian, um... Uh, short sword? What is X? Damn, this barbarian city is, is so large and has so much culture. Here, it says there IW, uh, IDW, chance to spawn defenders 45%. The city is so large and has so much culture because this existed for so long that we're getting barbarian militias, that's just embarrassing. Well, I, I guess you'll have to wait until next turn then because we're out of units to attack with. Okay. Yeah, attack with Kashyyyk Archers if I got some XP. 
What's in it? Smokehouse and the um, Pagan Temple that we get from the Statue of Zeus. So virtually nothing. This land is still going to have a bunch of culture from the barbarians, which is going to reduce their happiness a little bit in the near future. Uh, we shouldn't build a settler here. You are also building stuff that's relatively expensive. Or will take a long time. I guess that's because you're focusing on commerce. But you just don't have very much of the um, production, do you? So where should we build a settler for that place? Well, this city is definitely an option, is it? Yeah, you go build that settler. And the army can go back home. And you should move up here to... Oh yeah, you can pair up with this guy. For the longest road. And then I can start improving that city. Put roads there and everything. Um... I have a hamlet here even, which is a cottage is already improved further. Yeah, let's build a cottage here and then start farming up um, here. Let's see if we can even farm into the tundra, if it's not against the uh, river. I want to know if that's mm. possible. Yeah, army, uh, go here. Fortification. Nail secures the horseshoe, the shoe the horse, the horse the man. The she gave us a lot of money, so let's run on uh, the castle, the whole land. On deficit for a while. Got it. And farm. Wealthiest civs in the world, yeah, now that I have gotten some money out of the conquest, I am currently the wealthiest. The wealthiest uh, comparisons is probably the least uh, important, because how much money you have can change over the course of a couple turns. But what's that? This is a barbarian worker, interesting. Uh, let's go kill him. What is a, a stevy, a happy a stab rider, a cataphract. Need to have the archer can actually walk there and kill it. I don't think it gives it any XP. It was just a worker. Alright, you go there. We actually need some defensive units for this. We need a defensive unit to escort the settler up, and we need defensive units for that city itself. It's gonna be on a hill, so I'm gonna be um, just building an archer or something. Um, but the settler is going to be here pretty much right away. Let's just take this swordsman out of that army and um, put him on defensive duty for now. The rest of you can go continue up to threaten that city here. Uh, it doesn't have any particular, anything particularly interesting in there. It's important that we start any conquest um, of this guy before they get longbows. It's still a bit into the Middle Ages, but that is the latest point at which we should declare war against the Hungarians. Horses can go back into the city here. Well, Helipolis can go back out. Now we have this short sword here that's just um exists as a shit as a city defender a uh, shitty city defender mm. I guess he can exist he's not entirely obsolete yet and when you just need an extra body in a city it's nice to have something like that around if you consider adopting monasticism, it would bring our civilizations even closer together. No, I have not considered adopting monasticism because that would um uh, bereft me or derive me of my benefits that I get from our pagan temples that we have because of the Statue of Zeus. Oh, we can build Gondishapur. 14 turns, that's pretty quick. 
plus one health and also dishonest continent. Okay, nobody cares about health. Plus 25% science. Okay, people care about that. Two great scientist points. Oh, great scientists are great. And a fat minus five epidemics chance in the city. Well, it obsoletes with microscopes, so when you actually get around the industrial age, the industrial uh, uh, buildings then are not going to be offset by this anymore. But that will allow the city to grow however large you want it. Well, not quite, but however large you can make it in the late Middle Ages anyway, or the early Renaissance. So, yeah, let's shoot for Gondoshapur. We can stack Colosseum with it, get happiness and epidemics chances. <laughs> the uh, Egyptian capital is definitely better than our own capital. It's not bigger right now, it's definitely better. <laughs> Right, you built that uh, mine. Siegecraft. Pretty much the last thing out of the classical age that we wanted to research. On another against cautious men. And on um, another we are still... Oh, it doesn't show you? It doesn't show you the mouse over for how long we are still in... Uh, cost reduction or uh, and high medieval tech costs. So 20 turns until medieval tech changes from 100% more expensive to 50% more expensive. Do we just want to spend 20 turns researching elephant timing and theology? I mean, elephant timing has absolutely no use for us. But monotheism is one of these texts that we get from uh, people that we conquer like the Hungarians. I don't think the Hungarians are going to research elephant taming either. And we don't want theology because that obsolete the paying temples. So monotheism is really the only classical era, well it's ancient age even, tech that we still want. After that we can get into peasant servitude, uh, institute serfdom, raise some levies, build some manors, Yeah, that sounds good. And we were going to look at craft guilds for a new economic civic. As opposed to the... Um, what we have right now, substance economy. Given that we have all the um, hunter's cabin that give us a decent bony for all the trapper's lodges that we have. I'm actually inclined to stay in substance over craft guilds. Because craft guilds just gives you plus one um, to the... Uh, you can see it yeah, to the craftsman here. It also gives us the, these uh, guild halls, but they only benefit us if we already have lumber mills, which we don't have yet. They benefit quarries, which we have like one of. And then they benefit cottages and everything that comes after cottages. We have a few of the cottages at least, but we're not really depending on them yet. So I'm inclined to just stay with substance for a while. Substance also is no upkeep, craft guilds is medium upkeep. And here you can see we are two upkeep now, and if we have over craft guild that goes to two to, to four. And we are legislator and we already get cheaper upkeep. It's only going to rise over time. Okay, so um guilds is not that important. Lumber mills, however, are pretty nice. So I think after we have peasant servitude, we want to look at um, lumber mills. The alternative is what? Crossbows? The feudal contract? You know, monarchy is not really an option. Feudal aristocracy gives you more unit capacity without paying upkeep for them and enables the plate armor units here, but that's later. So not something we need. Crossbows are like an option for defensive units, but we get longbows anyway, a little later. We need castles. The Kremlin is nice if you have um, if you have minors, which I intend to have. So I think it's peasant servitude and maybe something like paper and uh, algebra get those schools. Maybe rudder, not that naval warfare is probably important in our future. Maybe we should build the lumber mills afterwards. Hmm. 
Yeah. Let's just wait until we have peasant servitude and then decide. We are going to have to uh, decelerate our tech rate again soon. In fact, let's just do that now. It doesn't matter if we can research this tech quickly and then the last, the next one slowly. Keep that 45 or 50 cash in our bank. Alright, the seller's already rushing ahead. Uh, don't rush ahead. In case there's a barb, you're going to be a very sad camper. Go there together. Monotheism. Thou shalt have no other god. It's very quiet. I'm not sure if you can actually hear it in the video, but there's a Leonard Nimoy's voice in there. Far away cities become homes of great people. A great people has died. Once a vehicle has been built, a spy has been caught, so a counter espionage is still active, so we don't need to send a spy out again. That's good. Build fishing docks. Um, we can still build some short swords, but we're gonna get levies in 25 turns anyway, which are cheap 6 strength units. They're not short swords, real swords. So my clients will just build a couple of these and then that's probably all we're ever going to build. Hmm. I think we should build the bronze smith here just because the city has well at least these two uh, production tiles even if the rest is going to be like cottages and farms. We don't need the bathhouse. We have siege workshops unlocked now. I guess that's an option for later. Probably better to have that further down towards the enemies and siege units to pick a slow as fuck. Then you can build like a grocer. Right. You can go idle. Now in fact the um, battering ram can go die. We're certainly not going to spend a hundred cash on upgrading that to a catapult. You guys group up and build a road onto that deer can. I'm gonna remove the city marker here. I was going to found a city, you know. Uh, the strength comparison with the Hungarians is going down. That's worrying some. So I really want more than just a couple more of the shorts of uh, not not shorts, it's regular swords. Altan Bulag is what you are. Uh, warehouses are going to be obsolete by workshops relatively soon. Hmm. I don't think we actually want to build a workshop in these places though, so let's just build a warehouse here. Carpenters are going to be uh, replaced by sawmills soon, so let's not build that either. Now what should you start with then? Let's well turn, turn on these limits here. Do you need happiness? Yeah, we're going to go into with the Middle Ages. That's going to give us one extra unhappiness in 27 turns. So uh, we need something that gives you happiness. So take a tailor as your second building. It actually has growth restrained. Yeah, it's 93 barbarian culture. That might be it. Yeah, so um, there's no... Not even like a hilled forest or plains or something because it's all tundra. So we don't get more than one production. So it's pretty much the only tile worth farming for this or worth working for the city right now. Once we had lumber mills, this is going to be a little better. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's just going to be your life for now. Let's put like four. It's going to get to five for the warehouse. Actually, um, take this garbage sword, uh, short sword out and put that in the city because that one does not need actual defense. All right. If we put you into these flatland tundra tiles, you cannot build farms there. So we cannot irrigate anything um, that we would build up here, for instance. 
That's not good. I mean, we weren't going to build a city up here anytime soon anyway, but um, that means it's not an option, I suppose. Uh, on the other hand, that means it's good that these tundra tiles have a forest on them, because that means we can build at least a lumber mill on them and have them be uh, do something, be worth something later. It's not that long until we get uh, lumber mills. Uh, so I guess you can stay here. We make a farm here so we can irrigate down here once we get that city. Build that farm. Lands of the Holy Crown. Well, he was really religious. Still a plus nine from religion. <laughs> so I guess it makes sense for him to be theocratic. We have actually finished Gondorship right here. The Gondorship has been built on Farway Land. Uh, I was wondering where that was in the video. <sighs> so we actually have specialists in here now. That's that's nice. Um, we need units. We need some units because the strength comparison with the Hunger Islands is starting to worry me. So um. Put some cataphracts in here in the meantime. Yeah, especially because you are the city that has the, um, like these cave frescoes that give you plus one XP to the charge mount. And you, of course, already, ha already have the stable and all the other Mongolian bonuses. Yeah, I guess that means we're gonna run at deficit for quite some time again. Actually, it's wait nine turns until we remove our deficit. If we wanted to really min-max it, we could do no science for 9 turns and then run it uh, at max, but uh, this deficit will take long enough to go down anyway. What is a uh, heap of cash. Great scientist. Alright. Uh, question with the great scientist is do we found a national academy? Or do we get one of these great science works? So, I'm actually inclined to take none of these great science works, even if something like minus five uh, epidemics or plus one to scientists would be pretty good, because these are all the classical age great science works, and we are just a tech away from paper. Since we just popped that great scientist, I'm inclined to just go for paper. Oh, that requires guilds first, I guess. Um, that makes another decision for us then. Uh, so in uh, 29 plus 29 plus 19 turns, well, I guess it's going to be not quite that long. We're going to be building a great science work with this guy. This is going to be great people points for scientists. Hmm. Yeah, um, well, we can just build an academy now. If we do that, we should do it in our, in our capital. Since we are running more and more of the great people, and we have 33 turns for the next one here already, we should just um, go build the academy and hope we get a new great scientist soon enough. I want to build another farm here, we might as well. Should probably farm down the um, grazing grounds we built here. Right. You are a swordsman, you go join the army. You can idle there. You build the National Academy. Mm -hmm. So... None of these tiles in the first ring here hills. Not that we can build any um, lumber mills or windmills yet, anyway, so there's not much we can do to improve this place before it pops its first border. Oh, uh, CM, I never had fishing boats. I guess that's because the Bob City was one further to the left. 
I mean, I guess we can build grazing grounds on these places, but uh, I don't want to remove the forests on the tundra uh, because, as we noted before, the tundra is worthless without forests. Without forests or a river next to it. I don't usually like removing um, city ruins if I don't have to, especially for something as weak as an unupgraded grazing ground, but pff, nothing else to do with this tile, really. Right, the short sword can be there, then we can get this real unit down here. Uh, how about you defend the capital? I'm, at this stage of the game especially, I'm um, not confident just having one unit defending a city. We don't care about a border city like that nearly as much, but our capital, don't want to lose that just by a random unit walking in. Especially if we're going to switch into um, peasant servitude and to serve them any, uh, really soon and have up to size 10 slave revolts. Slave revolts can be up to the size of the uh, city they spawn in, so anything between like 1 and 8 near here or 1 and 10 near the capital. Do we have the heavy rider in this city still? No. Mm -hmm. Little sentry there. Oh, that's a village now. Very nice. What are you going to build after the grocer? Don't really need any of that. I guess you can build a lighthouse in case we want to have a two food, three comma style. Really need his units after that. So, um. I guess it's going to build levy soon. Hmm. Alright, let's move you here and start working on these grazing grounds. Uh, you idle there. You have nothing to do up here. Let's do a food tile. I was actually moved it to being a craftsman in the warehouse. <laughs> I guess that's uh, going to get the tailor before the city grows. That's good. Let's look at that. Yeah, yeah AI actually being smart. Intentionally or not. Um, we should make a um, workboat here for that amber once this border pops, which it should relatively soon because we have the two culture pagan temple for free from the statue of Zeus. And we never actually got any barb ships spawning, did we? Like, I've not seen one at all. There was one in the Barb City that we killed, but it just idled in there. I was gonna say, maybe we should build a second um, warship to defend uh, our resources up there, but we might not need to. Alright, what do we do with you guys? Um, let's build a second road, just so we have the option of ha of going there on our second road. Uh, like here. Just in case one gets destroyed or something. Okay, now you're under horses here that have a grazing ground. The pasture is still the objectively worst choice, even with our pastor nobilism good. But these other grazing grounds here are certainly going to be uh, the objectively worst choice. Let's make a farm on this tile, since it's a grassland tile, and it can be like pure food, pure food production. And then the rest are going to get cottages or something. So new millennium dawns, wild empires of the classical age unite vast regions and assimilate great sums of knowledge that humanity will look back to for centuries. Medieval texts are now 50% uh, cost over normal only. Right, heavy rider here, we have one there, we have one there, we have one in the army, we have one in the city itself. Uh, let's put one in the capital. We want all these horses distributed around to suppress the, uh, the slave revolts that are gonna, gonna come up soonish. 
that and we can draw them um, together for war. Alright, we are in the Middle Ages. Peasant servitude. Let us switch to serfdom right away. Tribalism gives us no advantages whatsoever. This makes farms better. Needs means the cities need to spend less uh, extra workers working food tiles. Not that we have food problems in general. But it also enables us this manors, which are going to give us extra production and commerce. No, revolution. Suppressed peasantry. You can idle there. Oh, look at that. Guilds in five turns. We should also uh, up that to 100%. Guilds in four turns. And then paper in 11. Just a couple turns ago it said 29. <laughs> So, that's good. Actually, do we still want paper now that we have chosen what to do with our great scientist? We still want the guilds for lumber mill, so let's finish that. Um, after that, there's a sawmill, different mill. Windmill, water mill. All these other mills that we can build, we can drain the swamps. I think we still want paper just so we can get into mill machinery. That is the economic way of thinking. There's another school of thought that says we should get something like this, which also requires mill machinery. Specifically, uh, city attack units or men at arms. We also, as the Mongols, have these special city attack units, these uh, Nafatuns. I think, I think we should get these. And then attack the uh, Hungarians. That sounds like a plan. So for the next, what, 13, 24, 28 turns, we're gonna build more units, we're gonna build levies to throw at uh, our enemy. And then we're gonna build Nafatuns, and then we're going to start attacking uh, the cities of him that uh, are next to us. We have the money to... Uh, Support a larger empire. We have the money to support an army for sure. That is going to be our plan for expansion next time. We have today managed to get through the classical age. It was very peaceful. We have fought like barbarians twice and nobody else. We've managed to grow our cities. We have not found any, any new ones until just now. But we've managed to found uh, to uh, improve our cities to a great size, got an economy really rolling. I'm really happy with our technology rate. We have a tech rate of 184 beakers going just into the Middle Ages, and that's that's pretty good. We're going to be um, wasting, quote unquote, wasting most of this against the medieval tech um, head of time penalty, but our technology is strong. Then we have our opponent here, who has gotten even stronger, militarily at least. He likes us well enough, but as soon as we switch into a um, solar cult, which we should do soon, so we can take advantage of that too. Uh, that's going to go down. It's going to be an um, interesting consideration if we should take the solar cult holy city as it is. Or if we should raise it. I don't like this spot here um, and that has more water tiles in its big fat cross as opposed to something that has more land tiles in. Tends to be weaker in the long term. But that is a consideration for next time. Yeah, we've gotten to almost another 250 turns and uh, we are at the break of the Middle Ages at another point at which our empire is going to change direction. So I think that's a good time to stop it. Bye-bye.